This song is free from copyright, so I can use it for all of my YouTubes. Hey, that's me. Alright, we're doing Senior Detective. We have no task list. What? And I love you. Is this the real scurry one? Why I love you too. Hi. Are we getting a real scurry? They said make this spooky because we can't. This one is so spooky. Self-opening doors. Always the most terrifying. Anybody here? Puzzles are wild. Hello? Gracie, thank you for sharing. Hi, the door was open. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> and we're drugged. In two seconds. In two seconds, she's met a murderer who drugged her. Here, drink this. What? What is it? Something that'll make you feel better. Drink she never learns. Just a couple sips. Nancy drew this. Um, I don't think I should just take this. I don't think we should just show up to a house, get drugged, and then take this from a woman wearing a sun hat during a rainy day. Drink the juice, Nancy. Uh, okay. Instant death, instant yes. Nancy death. No offense, but yuck. Let's fucking party. Don't drink any of your weirdo concoctions. Then I really will have to take her to the emergency room. You just go back to your phone call. Oh my God, Wolfie, feet. so many times. Don't pay him any mind. Where am I? Can you all hear everything? You're okay. Henry Bolay's house, dear, in the library. He and I carried you in here after I found you unconscious in the foyer. It's a little quiet. Why is it so dark in here? The electricity went out. Lightning must have struck a transformer somewhere. I can't do anything right now. Can you remember? Well, the front door was open. Hey, well, let me click so on anything. I in, and then I saw this, well, I saw a skeleton. And then he saw me. And then the light Damn, started you the flickering. Lurk. And he threw something at me that exploded. And the smoke must have made me pass out. Pokey, thank you for liking the live. skeleton? I'm sure it was just someone, you know, wearing a costume or something. I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. I came to see Henry. So we surmised. I'm Renee Amon. Uh, house. I love the accent that ones. Was. This skeleton that attacked I don't know, Wolfie. Perhaps we should call the police. I don't no, know those games. No emergency room, no police. Things are complicated enough as it is. Henry's feeling a might overwhelmed. Well... You are Good morning, much Pokey. Better, so Enjoy that get back sweet to bed. My plant, Parton. You need anything? I'll be outside in the garden. All right, bye, Renee. Uh, Renee Almond. Okay, perfect. Let's turn voices up. That was a little creepy. How is that? How is that for you all? You like that? That was a little creepy. Better? Good. Fantastic. Okay, we have been left alone in the room <clears throat> with a witch. Doom scrolling while you have it. While you still got it, Pokey. Witchy books. Witchy fireplace. Anything. Okay. Let's touch trophies. Miniature Modelers of America. Low rolling. Thank you for the lurk, Wolfie. Not the clients there. Welcome back, Bookag. Is Henry hot or not? We haven't met him yet. So something's inside of this. Oh, Bruno is just a miniature model. He's a little tiny model and he wins awards for it. But there's something inside. I am hot. Thank you so much. Thank you for noticing. 
can I open? Oh, I can open this. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Numbers and names. Puzzles love numbers and names. Any books up here? No. So, Nancy, nice to meet you. Ned sent you here to check up on me, huh? Ow, my face! <sighs> that is not what I was expecting at all. Are those mesh gloves? It's the eyeliner. Yeah, Jody, I don't know what happened. It's very that. Oh, but but Sweeney Todd, like Tim Burton. It's his little bob of a wig, his mesh gloves. He's like old school, old school Panic at the Disco. He's kind He's of kind worried, of worried about, about you. you. That's all. This is just That's not where I thought it, this one is in Louisiana. I really don't yes. know him that well, just from school. But when I mentioned that my only living relative just died, they he was do all book hag. Like, yeah. How you feeling, man? You doing okay? Want to talk? Of course, I guess I do come across as a little needy sometimes. I don't see it. I don't think I'm seeing it. I love him, Twitchy Witchy. You're into him. You look pretty busy. Were you very close to your uncle? I fucking love Nancy Drew. If if you just lost a family member, Nancy Drew will meet you and within 10 seconds, bring up that dead family member. Hello, Brandy Kern. <clears throat> love your work, Liza Minnelli. Big fan of Cabaret. High of Pump Pock. And they capitalized on it, Ramona. Were you very close to your uncle? Great uncle, great uncle Bruno, and no, I love wasn't. pink. My parents died in a car crash when I was eight. Oh, don't you better believe no Nancy's gonna bring that up? Me in, or should I say, he shipped me out? Boarding school, summer camp, military school. Very that, college. Brandy. <laughs> he may have looked after me, but he never spent any time with me. I didn't know him at all. What are you doing? What are you doing? If you don't mind my asking. I mean, great just uncle dark. Bruno named me no wonder he's wearing mesh gloves. Estate. Which means Does he has tats? Oh my god, he has some tats. Taken care of so his assets can be distributed. McChain. Unfortunately, that is, he couldn't have cared less about little things like keeping that is records very telling. or balancing checkbooks. Dealing with his creditors and their lawyers has been an absolute nightmare. What's a Byronic? So, thanks for stopping by, Nancy. And now you can report back to Ned that I'm fine and go enjoy New Orleans. No, I no, can't. I can't. <laughs> Not until I know who that skeleton man was. I was just was drugged in here. your house. Why he knocked me out like that? Look, I can understand you're not wanting to call the police, but somebody should investigate. And since playing detective is kind of a hobby with me, no offense. Oh my God, Kayla! Sure you didn't I just, just discovered these as an adult. Humidity or something. And oh, he's got it all here. Saw the skeleton dude. I'm positive. Okay. Look around Again, we are like less than five minutes Bruno into a new Nancy Drew game, and somebody has tried to gaslight her. Didn't believe in cages, so he <clears> gave him the run of the place. And just because he's dead doesn't mean they are. So if you're gonna go poking around, be careful. Oh, that's why the girlies are into him. They were easily fooled by the sultry jazz. There's so many. That gaming chair? Ma'am, that is like an old school Louisiana desk chair. I'm going outside in the rain. Come on, Nancy. Out in the garden. I'm going to find the skeleton who fucking drugged me. I'm inside of these bugs. Okay. You're not going to comment on that, Nancy? I'm seduced. It'll get you. It'll trick your emotions every time. Nancy, where are we going? Am I in a full gown? Hello, Zapster. We're playing some Nancy Drew. That's the graveyard. I don't think I'm ready to explore this yet. Did y'all see my shadow? Cemetery maze. Yeah, I do not have the information for that yet. We are in ads, Star Amelia. 
It's so confusing. I love you even more. Rachel, I fucking love the Nancy Drew games. Anything on these shelves? Teeth? I'm sorry, this is the man you all had a crush on when you were young? He had teeth as bookends? Brandy, thank you for the six months. M Chain, thank you for the follow. Viv, thank you for the roses. But he did have a great daughter. Who are you talking about, Bebop? Who? This man does not have a daughter. It was his uncle's house. Don't blame him for the teeth. <laughs> okay, so I have to watch out for wild animals, he said. Let's explore more of the house. I can fix him energy. This is called Legend of the Crystal Skull. It's the one that takes place in New Orleans. Fan pictures, fan pictures. Nicole, you're so sweet. Has anybody, does anybody have the ability to boast that they have loved her interactive so long that they have submitted a picture to them to be in one of their games? Okay, this is where I was brutally attacked within the first two minutes of a video game as a young teenage detective. Oh, this is how you get out of the, the graveyard. Uh, is it Nancy in her 20s? She most definitely is not. I think she's like 17 years old. Not this piss fountain. Mama, that is a gay rave right there. She goes through all the Roy G. Biv. She doesn't even go to school. She doesn't even go here. What is this, a puzzle? In a Nancy Drew game? This is the best life ever. Kiki, I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling it was going to be. Oh, because he loves miniatures. You've never submitted a pic? Ugh. Oh, I feel like we need to. I need, we need to all try to submit pics for the newest one, if it ever comes out. He's, this is perfect. A preoccupation with size. Is this important? I'm just touching shit. I should put that back. Well, hopefully, Charlie. Are you excited for Sims 5? Um... We're a long ways out from Sims 5, yes. Brady, I don't know what the reference is. How did that fit in there? Nope, that's yours now. Put it in my mouth. It belongs to me. Sapster, how's your morning so far? I have no voice. Oh, no. Uh... Uh, at first glance, just getting ready for that gym, the place that you live. I oh, was that a quote from Titanic, Brady. I think I've seen it one time. Questionable, 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 questionable. So many elements, so many questions I have for them. Does that man have a banana and a very limp wrist? Oh, uh, that's an etching from the top of the mausoleum, but I don't know what corner that would go in. But it's bird. Did I put that in my pocket? Nancy, you little thief. I feel like this is a real chain. Fuck, Mary kill, that group of portraits. Just snatching coal. Can you imagine Nancy Drew just got drugged and then she wakes up, starts exploring the house and just putting coal and eyeballs in her pockets. I had an ex like that with the banana and lip wrist. Sounds hot. Is that a portrait of me? Absolutely not. Oh no. I'm going to need more details before I just go perusing this book. That is way too many names and dates. Uh, 
Oh. What am I trying to do? They were on Kitchen Nightmares? <coughs> is it theft? Why, yes, it is. Oh, that's restart. Well, that's good to know. Oh, I love its little kick motion. Oh, but I can't get that back. Oh, no, these puzzles are so hard. I can't go through these lasers, I'm sure. The square one moves one space at a time, and the balls move as far as they can go. <coughs> so I have four lasers here, and one, two, three, four items on this side. Move the block to move the balls to cover the lasers. But the problem is... How the hell I get that laser? A hydrate. Thank you, Mad Dog. Can you stack the balls up? Like if I line them up? I'm going to go follow and subscribe on Twitch. What a great idea, Kiki. <gasps> what a great idea. I'm interested. Keep telling me more, Nancy. I have to block them from up here. This is their source. And I can't... Blah. What does the star button do? Resets the whole thing. Puts me back on the star and everything goes back to where it was. Oops. I love the noise, though. Do you think I need another ball? Use the balls to block the laser. You're so right. The problem is the balls roll nonstop. So like this ball, I want to hit up, right? And then maybe if I hit this here, I can do something like this. Oh my god, Panda, welcome back. This is Legend of the Crystal Skull, Crystal Joy, which is so appropriate for you. Um, and it's the one that takes place in New Orleans. How did Wolfie do? On the guessing of the list or keeping track of everybody? Really well. Everybody's been really well behaved, so I think Wolfie did great. But I think Wolfie had to go on a lurk like right after you. Charlie, thank you for the heart me. What was I thinking I was going to do here? I need it to stop... Ugh. Went on break. Listen, you can't just blame somebody for their break lining up with your break. Maybe I can do... I'm never going to be able to get this back, though. Darn it. I went one too far. Because now that's down in that corner and I can't ever get her out. But I think it's like that. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow. Kylo's mother. Welcome in. A lot of people like this one. You know what I need? Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to get that ball to here. So what I need to do... Let's hit this ball up. And then this over. And let's hit this over here. Thank you for the lurk in Grey Louise. These puzzles, I know, right at the top of the game. Real difficult puzzle. I want to get it right here, but I need to get that. That means I have to get this right here. And I can't get the block against this wall because then I can't get it off of that wall. And I hate not being able to get it off. Yeah. 
Is this plungers and marbles? Maybe. Is that what this is called? Thank you for the lurk, Rosella. I'm playing senior detective, Kylo. Um, so I should come at it. Uh. Move block down to right one. But I can't, if I go down to, I can't go right one. Relza, thank you so much for that follow. And slap ball to top, but I need it in this way, because if it goes up to top here, I can't get it out of there. It won't block the first laser because it comes up here. Risa, thank you so much for that Prime subscription. I know you only get one of those a month. I love the Hitman games, Kylo. We played those on stream. I need to get it here so that I can get it here. That's what I need. But I can't block it this way. Bottom ball, left. I can't get to the left of it, though. But I can maybe block this. But if I block the laser, then I can't get to the side to, to get the bar box back out. This is the crystal skull. Yes. Block R1, D1, left one. Oh. I see what you're saying. Maybe right here. And the, oh, I see what you're saying. I just hit the thing in the wrong place. So actually, I think the block can just stay there. No, I have to take it up so I can stop it. Yeah, I accidentally hit the ball. I hit the ball. Okay, so we do this and then we do this. Oh. Okay, and then I have to come over here and hit this down. This is so much work to just get one ball over there. I love you too, Diggy. How are you? Uh-oh. You know what? I'm going to move this block before I do that. No. Yeah. That works. First laser blocked. Say ball again. First laser blocked. Easiest game I have ever played. This is very difficult. <laughs> but now, now I have nothing to block these. Except I guess I can continue to hit my block over. I need to get these two balls lined up in a way that then I can hit the block. Oh no, that's... That's not gonna work. I like that eyeball. We want two eyeballs. Um, oh my God, this is so tough. How do we get something here? A hydrate, thank you, Ram Dancer. I probably need more water too. Because we could. The balls roll through the lasers. Yes, Star Amelia. We 
we could do something like this. And then I'd have that ball ready to go that way. But the problem is... The best life you've ever seen? Ugh! That is such high praise. Because I know all you do, Panda, is you kick your little feet in bed, and the ceiling fan's blowing on the little bare tops of your little feetsies, and you're watching lives. That's the only thing you do with your days. Okay. Nancy Drew days are best days. Thank you. I do love a Nancy Drew day. Hi, Swifty. How are you? In a concerning way, like checking my room now for cameras. Can you get the block to block the second later laser at the source, then roll that ball to the first one? Yes. My only problem is, are we slaving? Slaving? It's living with an S and I love it. Minx, we're trying. We just started this game. Nancy Drew starts this game off. She gets drugged by a man in a skeleton mask, woken up by an elderly woman in a sun hat with some green juice totally drinks it and trusts her, talks to a Michael Jackson lookalike, and then decides to go ahead and solve this super hard puzzle after only stealing about a few things from the office. So it's very traditional Nancy Drew game. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. The only problem here is I have to be one. Is there a thunderstorm in this? I'm very ready for it. Jody, thank you for coming. Did somebody share the live with you? It's been blizzarding. I've heard about that, Victory. I heard there was a whiteout over there. Minxie, how are you? How are you doing after we survived so beautifully yesterday? Hi, Mara. Welcome. Well, go follow Mink's Queen. Do you need a diversion? I'll scream. Oh, oh we've missed you. Okay. So the only problem I have now is this block. Once I push it through one of the lasers, I will get burned by one of those lasers. Oh, you know what I have to do. You know what I have to do. If I do that there, and then push that up, and then... Oh, this is hard. Do we need a walkthrough? Probably. You sent one to Ope? Oh, please let Ope know we're here. I see the wheels turning. Yeah, because I need... A chill reminder? Would the laser hurt you? That's what I'm wondering, Avitra. Is like, if I push the block beyond, I'll be standing in a laser that I can't stand in. Because I am basic. Kimmy, children play these games. Children. Wait, wait, wait. What if you line the balls up behind the block so they don't roll and push them all forward? I don't think I can push. I don't think I can push them like that. The only reason it could hurt to try, Avitra, is because restarting means taking everything back to square one. So, 
what I think I have to do I, I honestly don't even know at this point. Really low and just just limbo under them. What if we made all the lasers touch lips? I want all of them. Yeah, if we just distract them by making them all kith, maybe we'll have this solved. I'm pretty sure if I hit this ball... Yeah, the balls don't roll in a line because I've hit them against each other and they don't make that next one roll. It looks like that new math. Are you talking about like Common Core from like 2008? Okay. This is Clocks, but it's literally the first puzzle of the game. And I may not even need to be solving this right now. Kelly, thank you for sharing the live. Valerie, thank you for sharing the live. Roll the ball to it, then push the ball up to the source. So the problem, Star Amelia, that's what I was thinking. But the problem is the ball will stop on the block. Oh, wait. No, still. And if I push this, uh, oh, shoot. I messed it up. But now I know that I can push it and stay behind one. So yes, we have to do, I know, I know, I know, I messed it up. Um, we now know that we have to, Useful information. Exactly. Trial and error. You know what? Let's do... Ooh. I almost hit that ball. Let me touch that ball. Jody, thank you for sharing the live. Why are y'all so nice to me? I wonder if there's like only one way you can solve this. Thank you, Ram Dancer. Um, so if I push this block to there, push this in there, But I have to get th the other one lined up. So I'm going to get this one here, get this one lined up. Okay. Um, let's get this one. Oh, shoot. I see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I got it. Hi, oh, look of fish, cutie pie. You pay per share. Yeah. Half a cent. Oh, lurk. Thank you for that lurk, Ope. That's so sweet, Panda. Okay, wait. Now, we go over here and we push this down. I push this back. And so then I'm going to put this one. Here. Oh, did I mess that up? That's okay. I can put, make it go back a little bit. 
Uh, I think I got this. Sarah, thank you for sharing the live. You're so sweet. Huh? Okay. So now what I'm going to do... Is come over here. I think I got this. Oh no. I don't have it. This should be down one. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Push the ball up. No, because now this one has nowhere to go. I don't have it. No, because I need to get this back out to get this down. It was a. Aggr I'm aggressive over on TikTok. Am I different on TikTok than I am here? Um. Okay. So I now know this can't be in that top spot. It needs to be here with the other ball here. Because then I can push this up one, stop it, and then over, stop the next ball here, go under, push up. The people in chat. I just love that the people in chat, when it gets to Nancy Drew Day on TikTok, the people in chat, like, have to solve the puzzle. They're like, here, let me help you. I got it. Give me give me the puzzle. I got it. Feral. Feral puzzle solvers. TikTok's just full of smarties is all. Okay. Very give it, I got an energy. I go back to Twitch, Sarah. No, Ooh. no puzzle solving for you. I thought I messed that up. We're still good. This is where the dumbs hang. Y'all are just interested in making like whole jokes on Twitch. Ooh, 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 don't touch that yet. Now I can touch it. Okay, honestly, this one's in a good position. So I'm just going to... So take that. I don't even understand what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm going to put this... Here... Oh, shoot. I need this. No, I need this over. Because I need this up one more. Um, actually... Oh my right. goodness. Casey, thank you for gifting right. that sub to Phlebotomist. Kelly, hop on over to Twitch with us. You get full screen. Hamp. You get full screen Nancy over on Twitch. Hamp, thank you so much for the 11 months, gorgeous. Are y'all ready? Are y'all even ready for this? I think I did it. I think I did it. Barring me accidentally hitting the wrong button. 
There is a sweet chicken over on Twitch named Hall. Oh no! I didn't do it! That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. This is okay. I got it. Does anyone still wear blue for your bestie? One moment. We've so got this. We've so got this. Oh, here she is. And there's that hat. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I should show you for a little bit longer. I just like threw that hat on her and threw her back in the lap. Like she was nobody. Like she was a nothing to me, but she's everything to me. I think we got it. You can still see her on Tim Tom, even when I take her away. Your PC or Hole? PC. Far more expensive. I can find Hole again on Amazon for real cheap. Okay, Lorraine, that is a really good question. Okay, the other really good question is, can I get this ball... Down here. I need this block. This ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I need this. Uh, yeah, I need this block to block this laser. Use the block to block the other laser. Yeah. So I need this block to block this, this ball to block this laser. But how? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. Now we got to get the block through there somehow. Um, so I'm going to take the block through here, almost there. I know we're going to take the block all the way over here, up, over, down, over, no, down all the way, over, down, over, down, got it. Oh my goodness, thank you for that. Follow victory, welcome in. That was the easiest puzzle. Ew. You're a witch. That kind of looks like yours. What is his name? Belina, I love that. <coughs> Easy, easy puzzle. Thank you so much, coffee table puzzle. Wish you were harder. Wish we'd spent more time doing that. Okay, nothing over there. So now I have two eyeballs, and there's going to be some sort of disgusting mannequin. I'm going to have to put them in. This is the game with the goth guy. Yes. That's the front door, but I'm not leaving until I figure out what Mr. Skeleton Thank you for the fellow McKennig. Thank you so much. Welcome. All right, down there we've been. That's where the lady gave me the green juice and I met the man with a lot of eyeliner. Oh, no, I am not. Why are there so many eyeballs in this house? Sharkfish, I love you too. Why is this all about just collecting eyeballs? There's definitely an eyeball in that.
you can just face a wall. This is a new nanner. We just started it. Whenever I get frustrated in this game, I'm going to come to this room and just do this. Mouth coins. Oh, damn balls. I think he had a fake eye. So he just kept spares around the house. Kelly, thank you for the rose. That was so sweet. We got a lot of fucking eyeballs just laying around this house. He likes to change them out. Different colors for different moods. Wait, there's nothing... Okay, I can't get through there. I need to go tell this goth guy that I've collected 85 of his uncle's eyeballs. What should I do with them now? You get to collect so many more eyes. All I can think of is Nancy walking around this house with just this jingle jangle pocket full of fake eyeballs. All right, we've looked at everything over there. It's like a mood ring. I've looked at this. Oh, no. Not a clock. Too soon. I'm still dealing with the with the trauma. Henry Bowley. I'm it's too soon for me to be messing with clocks again. This house crooked is out. That was a really crooked sideway uh, hallway. I've definitely been in here. We looked at teeth. Not enough teeth in this game so far. That's my one review. Too many eyes, not enough teeth. It's... Taylor, you have a sharp eye. That is most definitely going to be a puzzle. There is an eyeball in here, and I want it out of there. Your great uncle really had a thing for glass eyes, didn't he? Figured it yep. out. Wore a glass eye for as long as I can remember. Had a whole collection of them. Like to wear a different color every day. Oh, no. Do you love him, Nadia? Is he just talking to me through that closed door? Okay, so now I have s these glass eyes. Yes. Is your great uncle's estate worth very much? I have really no moving. idea. Nor will I until I get all his affairs settled. He was a well, dentist. Is that what you're doing? His life, so he must have had some oh, money squirreled dentist. away. As you can tell, he was darn good at squirreling away junk. Found a lot of eyes. Have you had any of his things appraised? Uh, somebody from a curio shop came in and took a quick look around. Did anybody have a crush on this him? guy when they were young? two feet behind you the whole time. That was that guy in the graveyard. That was my favorite. Oh, Lord. He was just following. Star Amelia, he did things for you when you were young. Why is there an empty frame? He scares you. He creeps me room? out. Apparently, what someone stole the canvas. <laughs> Renee says the it crush? disappeared sometime after Bruno died. You did, Steven? It disappeared sometime after Bruno died. What was it a painting of? Do you know? It was of my parents. It's very that, Victory Rose. it was Rose. painted in the garden out back. But I'm a lesbian. Like me. Wouldn't surprise me if she took it out of spite. We should check her phone. I found this scrap of paper in the fireplace. Do you know anything? This may about not be it? wise. No. You always go digging around in people's fireplaces? Absolutely. Just looking for something that might tell me who that skeleton man was. Uh -huh. Nancy, you need to answer him anything honestly. Else? You say yes. Literally every place I go, I dig through everything. Mad Dog, welcome back. He called her out. He's one of the first ones in any Nancy Drew game to use. He'll be like, is that just what you do? Is that your thing? Do you just open other people's things and take it all? Yes. She has a pocket full of your shit that's just laying around. Do you know what this is? I found it in the other room. Looks to me like some kind of tracing. I was thinking that maybe my skeleton man left We're it not calling him my skeleton well, man now. I no. sure don't know anything about it. Anything else? Covered in soot. Why is there a model of a cemetery in the other room? Because great uncle Bruno used to oversee the cemetery next door. Made that scale model so he could keep track of where everything, or should I say, everyone was. Crafted all those miniatures. She will snoop your entire house. And people think I'm weird. I'll stop bugging you now. Sounds good. Okay, I didn't try, did I try that other room? What's that? Oh, that's the call. That's the door to the cemetery. That's the door 
to the hallway. The cemetery map out here could guide me around the cemetery, maybe? Is the cemetery just a maze that I have to get through? <gasps> oh, Miss Ma'am! Welcome to my little lantern lit corner of the world. This is just all you have in this whole house. Looks like you like to grow things. Nancy's Looks fucking like observant. Like She's a things. detective. I do indeed. Herbs mostly. And because I'm in constant need of them, I grow them in pots. Bess is supposed to be here. I wonder where she is. She's out drinking. Even though Brula, yeah, so let's let's bring up the dead cooking, guy again. Even though Bruno Bolle is gone, I don't use these herbs for cooking, darling. Oh my God, witchcraft! Did you and Henry have a nice chat? Oh my God, witchcraft! <gasps> Did I detect a little animosity? Yes, you two dig up there? the shit, Henry's Nancy. A very morose, very negative I need my herbs man. all the time. Very cunning too. In fact. I'm no way, Crystal Joy. I'm so excited. Dr. Bolay's belongings on the sly. Won't all of Dr. Bolay's belongings go to Henry anyway? Where Clue Absolutely at? Not. The game Clue? According to Dr. Bolay's will, we haven't Henry played it in a long time. 30% of the estate. Dr. Bolay's physician, Gilbert Buford, gets 30%. Our Lady of Route 57 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology gets 30%. And I am to receive 10%. Have you ever seen this before? I found it by Have the scale model. Absolutely. Before? Nancy, you've I never gotten in trouble just showing random people the things. That's inside the house. It's a mystery to me. I suggest you ask Henry. He leaves things like Was Henry the skeleton? The I guess it figures I won't notice amid all the other clutter. I think he was but the I skeleton. Do. He's giving I me bad guy energy. Everything. How else may I be of service to you? What can you tell me about the painting that's missing from the frame in the gallery? What Very skeleton little, key? Afraid. Oh, that I didn't old movie. The picture was gone until after the reception following Dr. Bolay's funeral. I cannot even tell you what it was a picture of. What was in that concoction you wanted me to drink after I got knocked out? I remember skeleton out? key. Never you mind. It was just a box. I up on the spot to help you feel better. If you don't like Henry that much, how come you're still here? I'm here because Dr. Bolay paid me in and advance. Ah, I love you, ah, I love you too, Heather. Obligations. If you don't mind my asking, what's in that little pouch you wear? Let me see. Neck? Let me see your pouch. Secret Nancy said, let me see what's in your sack. That give me special talents when special times demand them. People usually laugh when I say this. But this pouch is my connection to the energy that it's more eyes. the universe. Oh. Well, at least you didn't laugh. I'll lead you to your potting. Ha. One more thing. That's a coke pouch right I there. I too have seen the skeleton man. After Dr. Bolay passed that night, I saw him in the Definitely hallway. Definitely poppers. He was there. Hi, Mattachine. He was gone. So you best be careful, Nancy Drew, because if it was Mr. Death, and I truly think it was, he's come back. Ma'am, it's Henry. It's just Henry with a mask. Everybody's always so confused by people with masks who obviously have keys to the location they're in. I'm going to need your shovel. I do have to dig up some graves. Light grave robbing is very Nancy Drew. She's a crystal girly. She's a very, she's very witch coded. Um, this feels safe. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think I killed Nancy. Am I... S well, don't do it again. We should save. We haven't saved yet. Wait, that's that. All right, we're saved. I'm on Secret of the Old Clock. Ashley, you've made your way through it. Or you mean book series. Do they all make the same noise?
No, the games. Secret of the Old Clock is, is a way th into the games, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. No, you can't touch the eyeballs. Oh, did these feathers change? I see. Okay, it's five. Oh, shoot. You're so right. Okay, so that one keeps the two, first two down and second two up. What does this one do? So now the first one should be up. Great, I need second one up and fifth one up. Darn it, that put the first one down. So now second guy? I don't know. I just need the second one up now. Hi, Percy. Darn it. Oh, no, I put the fifth one down. Am I putting them all down now? How do you get the second one? I have lost my voice. Oh no, Bob the Lame. The only one I can't get is this one. I haven't, Wyatt. Andrew gifted it to me. Interesting. They all have the same feather symbol. And the only one left. Oh no, not the bones. I didn't play it as a kid. I have some seen some people play it as adults. It's got such creepy, like, talking animation for the characters. Cause they're like photograph it's like that like that Anaconda Girl game um show that was back on like set one Saturday morning or whatever ABC was something Anaconda and she was all in black and white and they were pictures. I think it is on steam. Yes. A good chance of me. Angela Anaconda. Is that what her name is? That was my shiz. She was fucking creepy. It's a courtyard that leads to a graveyard. Damn it. No, none of the... No, not one of these four seems to affect the second one. So I'm not actually sure... Because now I have all of them up but the second one, but none of them affects the second one. Are you missing a head? It's called the Crystal Skull. I'm not sure. Maybe it wasn't one Saturday morning. I'm pretty sure, though, that I was able to watch it, but it might have been like a Nickelodeon show that then got, like, syndicated. Do his eyes do anything? The eyes are the same click as that. His eyes I can't click on. But only a little? No. Maybe there's a hidden switch somewhere. I think you find the pattern you need eventually. Well, I hope they reset. Because I've definitely clicked on them now. I don't think this is a guessable puzzle. Got it. 
Yeah, we'll have to come back once we've sort of learned. Maybe we find those symbols on something. Let's go over here and just see what happens when we wander these these pathways. Dead end. Ooh. Crowing Crips. Okay. Love. Wait, is this just where I came from? Nope. It's not. Ew. Nancy, steal the boat. This is obviously where the skeleton man came from. Thank you for the follow, Kelly Clue. What a great name for this. Hi, Morgan. Welcome in. Nancy, eat that mushroom. Can I pet that dog? Um... This Nancy Drew said, we're going to give you lots of different places to explore. Listen to that jazzy beat. Oh, here's the tree. And here's that mausoleum. Well, damn it. I don't think I have a key. Nancy, Nancy forgot her voice line. She didn't say it's locked. It was on one Saturday morning? I thought so. Pogi, hello. Thank you. It can't be bothered for, with an umbrella at all. She's just going to walk around here, picking up eyeballs, looking at dead bodies. Charlie? Oh, no. No. West, north, east, south, west, north, west, south, east, north, east, north, east, south, west. Somebody's getting their camera out. She didn't. Kelly Clue, I was so mad. Thank you for the biddy. She's supposed to say it's locked every time there's a door that is very clearly locked. Is that my way through this maze? And I'll get somewhere? Wyatt, that was really good. So if I go west, and first person, I love that Nancy, like, I think of her as such a modern girl. We knew we were trying, but she's in a full dress in this picture. <coughs> she showed up to this in a full dress. And I'm not saying modern, like, women don't wear dresses, but, like, it does feel like a weird traveling choice to just be in full ankle-length gown. No, umbre no umbrella. I do need to hydrate. Did I go down all of these pathways? That led me there. I went over here. 40 winks mausoleum. That's dark. She should be in a juicy trick suit. Cam, happy belated. <clears throat> she, after meeting this guy, she is going to. She's grabbing that eyeliner tonight. She's going to the Walgreens. There's got to be something over here. Happy belated birthday to our sweet Cam. What is this? Oh, that's my case file. Why do I have that in my bucket? I'm going to call Bess in the rain. Bye, Crystal Joy. Thank you for hanging out. Hello? Bess, hi, it's me. Hey, Nance. I just got back from shopping, which I am happy to... Why am I not with her? Fantastic here. So... What's going on with you? Why am I not hanging out with my friend? A lot is in a whole bunch of fun stuff. Let me start by telling you what happened when I arrived at Henry's house. I walked up to the front door and discovered it was open. So I walked in. Oh. I was like, what just happened? You were knocked out by a skeleton <gasps> wearing a red oh ascot. Oh my god. Someone dressed as a skeleton wearing a red ascot. 30, 30 and fr thriving. I love really that, Kim. Skeleton, Mr. Death. But then she's a little strange. Jackie, you've played this? Was a burglar? I'm not sure. 
I caught him or her. Is that best? around the scale model of a cemetery. And later, I found a tracing of something right by it. So if I could just figure out what it's a tracing of, and what, if anything, it has to do with that model cemetery, I might be able to figure out who Skeleton Man is. You started last week. Oh, so you're so far ahead of me. You're not leaving there until you've done just that, Morgan would love it. Oh, I also found some kind of receipt in the fireplace that may or may not be a clue. What's it a receipt? Oh, I'm outside of Zeke's. That's what I need to find out. See, it's half burned up. All I can read is the receipt number and the name of the place it's from. Zeke's. Zeke's? I'm right here. You're be kidding me. Why? What do you mean? Oh my god, Jackie. I mean, Addicted. I'm sitting here on our balcony in the French Quarter looking down at a place across the street called Zeke's. That's great. So go over there and ask Thank you for the hydrate. Counter, what receipt number 21-3872. Mm. I'm going to have to refill my coffee and my water. You... You want me to snoop? I wouldn't call it snoop. Oh, really, Nancy Drew Barrymore? Uh-uh, forget it. Not going to do it. Best. I'm not good at that sneaking around stuff, Nancy. I get nervous. My tongue gets all knotted up. My palms sweat. It's a good idea. Nothing of my armpits. Best. Receipt number 21-3872. Just go in and ask what it's for. No big deal. Best. Don't be Maybe a fucking sissy. You. Best. You Your friend was just it. drugged and no, knocked out by a masked stranger. Well, I just know it. Okay. I'll call you as soon as it's over. I'll be waiting. Yay, we're best. <gasps> oh, Aaron's going to be so mad he missed this. Oh. Oh, Zeke's is terrifying. Oh my god, it's the hot statue from Blackmore. Nancy had such a crash on that statue. She literally went, mm, mm. Mm, when we saw him. Mary, you're here for it. He's back. Oh. Well, they're not. Who is that tall drink of water? She really did. Mystical toast? We'll take two. Well, hello. We're going to talk to you in just a second. We're still just looking at your cabinet stuff here. Bess. Okay, we'll leave. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so these... This has books leaning on it. No, that's just nope. the pictures on the wall. That's a nope for me. This is not a puzzle I can guess right now. So we're going to go talk to this man who runs Zeke's. And it might be Zeke. You've seen this before? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Half Moon Joe. Hey, doing a little end of the day shopping, huh? See something you like? Love the accents in a Nancy Drew. They all go, like, level 11. I like everything. That's what I want to hear. I'm Lamont. This is my place. So Why would you be Lamont and I'm you're running Zeke? Ask. Actually, I I think it's supposed to be like question. Louisiana. Um, this friend of mine found the number of a receipt Nightmare. that came from this shop, and she asked me to ask you what the receipt is for. But you play if you're Overwatch, really busy, Kayla? Or you'd rather ads not, were in like ads. Against the rules. No problem. What's the number? Uh, two one. Dash three Did best write this down? Creole. Here we go. That ticket was for a large box of assorted unknown items I bought from Henry Bolay. And uh that's all I can tell you. Assorted unknown items? It's a box with a bunch of different things in it, kinda like a grab bag. Look, no, I, I just don't want to make trouble for anyone, okay? Goat yoga? I want goat yoga. Can you tell me what was in the box? It's still in the back. It's very that fluffy. I haven't had a chance to really go through it yet. Hey, is there something else I can help you with? Beads, hula dolls, old books. Hula Got dolls? Got deals on all of them. Seeing as this place is called Zeke, my first question to your best. place, shouldn't your name be Zeke? Guy I bought this place from wouldn't sell it to me unless I swore I wouldn't change the name. Well, that's so not contractually binding. Funny thing was, his name wasn't Zeke either. Is Henry Bollet a friend of yours? 
No, I met him at the reception at Bruno's house following the funeral. Gave oh. him my card, said when he wanted to start liquidating, he should give me a call. Was Bruno we got to check our phone backgrounds for this I game, Taylor. Bruno Bo, they didn't have any friends. Mm, but I wish he had been my friend. Ooh. I mean, that house you into him? is filled with junk. He kept everything. For someone in my business, the place is Welcome back from Ads Kevin. Cuties. Where would you rate Lamont? I like his energy. Maybe I'll have another look around in here. You got a question? As a Nancy Drew character, I like his energy. I really hope it doesn't turn out that he's the bad guy. Oh, I can't get my phone out in here. Anything on this shelf that I can use? No, I don't want to leave yet. Oh, who's this? That's Lamont. He runs Zeke's. He bought a cabinet of curiosities off of Henry Bolet at his uh, after his or at his uncle's funeral. And there's going to be something that we can do with this shelf over here, but I'm not sure what it is yet. We probably have to find like a picture. And that'll open something up over there. But maybe we need to report to Nancy. I'm at work. Look at you working so hard. What year was this game made? I think like 2013, but I could be wrong. Can I give a hint? No. Oh, stinking powder. Ew, pee uh oh. Uh oh. Who bought this powder? Was it 2007? This one was the powder that knocked Nancy out. This was Skull Man. Oh my God, it is Lamont. I'm going to take the giggling powder real quick. <laughs> Best amazing voice actor. Um, okay, so somebody came to Lamont's. Got that powder. Do you think that he'll tell me? And she's back. What's up with all those bottles of weird stuff? Maybe we can talk about it. Do something some of the more superstitious people around here practice. They think if you mix certain herbs and roots a certain way and drink them, or I know a woman. I know a woman with a hat. Bags, it can give you a supernatural edge in your daily life. Does it work? All I can tell you is the stuff I got in here sounds like hotcakes. Somebody thinks it works, so hey, who knows? Okay. Guess I'll check this place out some more. Take your time. That wouldn't fly today. That's probably true, but we'll see. Some it seems like somebody bought it. Okay, let's take a Oh, this is this is Oh, the cell phone interface is so boring in this. Hello. Good news and bad news, Nance. I found out that the receipt is for a box of stuff that Lamont, that's the guy who owns Zeke's, bought from Henry Bollet. No, no coffee. We don't know it. And he, we didn't, there wasn't an option for me to ask him. That's the bad news. The box is in a back room. And Literally it just numbers. That's so sad, no H. Noel. That's all Lamont would tell me. Said something about not wanting to get anyone in trouble. So, looks like that's that. No, no, no. You've got to get into the back room and find out what's Perfect. in that Perfect. Yes. Room. Make your friends be Which criminals. you're probably going to have to... You know. Oh no, I'm not going to snoop, Nancy Drew. I told you, I'm a lousy snooper. We didn't play last Drop week, Meggers. I was sick. The place could close by the time I got down there and tried to do it myself. And knowing what's in that box could be really important. Could I'm be? best right I'm now, Ginger Snap. If you call her in this one, you become her. Something that could be important? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, best please. Just find a way to distract this Lamont guy. Look through the box and leave. You can do that. Let's do okay. it, Bess. I'm so you excited. Oh me, Nancy Drew. Oh, do you owe me? Oh, you're the greatest. You really are. Okay, we're back to being best. We're going back inside. I miss your ND live. Well, I'm happy to be back. I was so excited to start this last week and then so bummed out that I was just like, I am not feeling good. Hey. Maybe I'll have another. How are we gonna distract him? I gotta break something. Save. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna pour more coffee and I'm going to pour more water. And then we're gonna get in here and figure out how we're going to distract Lamont 
so that we can sneak into the back room. Who's better, Nancy or Bess? I have such an affinity for my girl, Nancy. I like Bess more as a side character. Do you have an Insta? I do. It's same name here. What if we use Google powder on him? You just tossed hole. That's sort of what I'm known for. Um, okay, BRB. We can try to use the powders on him. Oh, my legs. We're back. We're so back. I can hear microwave. My coffee had gotten cold, so I heated it up. You can hear that from out there. That's really great. This is a really great screensaver. I like the like, oh, oh, well now we get <coughs> big band jazz music. Crack the green thing with the creepy thing in it. That would definitely distract him. But some people said I've never seen that before, so I don't think that... I don't think that that's the answer. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break your little home. Yeah, that doesn't work. Let's see if we can do some powders on him. Ooh, they weren't kidding. Okay, not that. That one stinks. Ew, P -U. Is this the best live on Twitch? Well, it is TikTok. Kayla. I appreciate you so much. I love you so much. Oh my God, Kayla. Not you realizing. Oh, she took that. She took the, she took the sneezing powder. Can I just use it on him? Oh, I have a compact. Hey. Just let me throw some sneezing powder on you. I think I'll look around some more. Enjoy. You think I need to get the bowling ball to roll down? <gasps> oh. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put the stinking powder, sneezing powder right here. Oh, I don't know. I want everything in there. Are you a curiosities kind of person? Hmm. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. Maybe the fan has to blow the ship. And these... The accordion knocks over these. Wait, why does that show me? Okay. Okay. 
So I'm paid to watch you? That's the best. What is this? Oh my, oh, wait, wait, wait. The plant, the fan has to go here so it plugs in. Okay. And then that will hit the ship. Is that like a weight? So the bowling ball. Is it super scurry? Not yet, but we did find this. She's cute and she's single. Spooky. Do I have a balloon? Because I've got helium here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Still need some work. That pushed that up and made that play. That is not the sound of a balloon. It's pretty close. We had some things moving. What should go there? Ma'am, that was a toot. I feel like the accordion's gonna hit that. This should blow. I'd kiss that. I don't know. Let me see what this does. Oops. Oh my god, I love you too. Doing all of this. Yeah, exactly. No cigar. Well, that made this play. Does she dance when that plays? Okay, that dances. That doesn't quite cut it. And what's gonna go there? When she dances... Maybe I'm only worried about this shelf. Hi, Jolie. We're building a Rube Goldberg, this Goldberg machine. This is the one in Louisiana, yes. Let's see. Still need some more. Uh, do you think that the head is less heavy? Oh, I think I did it, because the music started. Close Darn it! No, no! The big book? Why is she doing this? She could... She's just trying to knock this sneezing powder over, and she could just, like, throw it at him. Nothing, McD. Doesn't quite cut it. Oh my god, what am I doing? So that throws something up. Balloon simulator over here. Julie, how was your day? What was that? That was a balloon blowing up. Let's put the head here. What in the world? Would this be? Hi, just ass smiles. Our cutest, sweetest babe. That doesn't sound like a Nancy Drew. When I threw a fucking flashlight at her butthole. I did. What goes up here? I'm Bess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade, sorry. Yeah, the voice doesn't sound like Nancy because... In this one, you switch over to Bass. Let's try this real quick and see what happens. I'm running late. I'm glad you're getting some sleep, though. Thank you for the follow, Cinescent. Well, I've got the right idea. Okay, so we did make that go that way, but what goes there? Hi, Lenoro. My adrenaline is through the roof. Panda, that's very impressive. That's very impressive. 
I really don't know. Try nothing. <gasps> Look at that cute cat. Queen Squiff, thank you so much for that adorable gamer cat. And then blow the ship. Close, but no cigar. Damn it. What does that do? What does that do? What if I made the boat hit the bowling ball? Oh, I can't. I love that you have to watch that every time. My poor sweet baby. I just stabbed her. Got him! I stabbed the sweet bowling ball and she cried. That was the bowling ball saying, ow, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> the fan. I think the ship will pop the balloon. Oh! Which will send. Whatever's up here crashing down. Maybe we do the teeth and then the bowling ball here. Let's try it. Heartbreaking. I'm getting there. Okay, so maybe... Bowling ball where teeth are and teeth here. We're the really, it has to be this. It has to be this. Turn it on. This hits the boat. Boat pops. That doesn't quite cut it. Damn it! There's nothing else to put anywhere. I don't have another item. No, wait, skip. But he would always say it's either tooth or bowling ball. The glass bottle? Where's the glass bottle? That's my itchy sneezing powder, isn't it? Do you want my suggestion? I can't click on those. Hi, Laker. Good morning. That ball is too heavy. The teeth don't do anything there. I could try that. And then the fact that it is not... By the ball, it's just like animation that I can't click on. It's just a drawing. I like the little sort of fart that happens when that flies up onto the shelf. I'm getting there. Damn it. And it knocks that. There's nothing there. That reacts with that. This bottle? This is my sneezing powder. And look, these are the items that I can interact with. That's it. Anything that's highlighted is an item. You're so close. He's like, ma'am, this is the most... Blows the powder, for sure. But I can't get the accordion to go off. Swap ball and powder? But then who's going to sneeze? Not the bowling ball. Does the bowling ball sneeze? We've blown up so many balloons now. Well, I mean, he did say, ow, wow, 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 wow. There, that should do it. Um, Lamont, could you help me? 
Sure, what do you need? Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. <laughs> Oh no spray. Back My god. No spray. Back room. This elaborate trap that she took forever to set up to get this man sneezing. That was ridiculous. Okay, we got Bruno. Is this all that's gonna happen? Am I gonna sit here and read this note while this man Laverne was just wondrous this summer. We both stayed in the south of France for only a few days to visit some old friends. Lorelei spent far too much time in the kitchen. Golden braised pork shoulder roasts with turnips and roasted plums and an entire quail wrapped in puff pastry. We brought only a simple chocolate cake from the street market. That was our dinner. She does things like that, you see. Always trying to show up the guests. That's how she is. I would want... I must be off to the post quickly before the fog rolls in. I'm expecting parcels. We hope that all is well. Please keep in touch. Most cordially, Amalinda. The infinite sneeze. <gasps> Bole. How am I going to open that? Boner. I need to go through that box for Nancy, then get the nose spray for Lamont. How? Jolie, thank you for the lurk. What do I put in? Boner slut. What was his name? Henry Bo Bole? I don't know what I should put in here. Oh, wait. Bruno? I did it. Oh, Bole? I did it. It's Bruno Bole. Pule. Bruno and... Brent? I do love this. I want to know more about her. I need to know her story. I love her ruffles. Is that a slur? The nose spray? It's just... I'm, I'm really looking. I'm looking around. That Yeah. Uh, kink unlocked. Wouldn't it be Bruno? Bole? Oh, maybe. Bruno... Boule. Back to the letter. Laverne. Amalinda. Oh, there's. Oh. Hamlet one three thirty two. Hamlet eight three six. Hamlet eight fourteen four. Hamlet one. Some of these don't exist. You're playing Waverly Academy? What do you think? That guy is going to sneeze until I get this right. 1332, Hamlet 836. Waverly was good. I like the characters in Waverly. Can I, I'm supposed to be helping him. He's going to sneeze himself to death. It's got to be Bruno and Brent? Brent. 
Brent and Bruno. Ginger Lizard. We have to read Hamlet. Trent. Wait, did I do that wrong? No. This poor guy. I'm coming. Bruno and Gwent. You're s the dog in the picture. He is a really good boy with de demon eyes. I'm coming. I'm just getting it. We need to get that frame off. I can't. I can't click any. I'm coming. Just a second. Uh, where could it be? I'm just looking. Alejandro, thank you for liking the live. Oh my god, the dog from the opening credits of Goosebumps. One three thirty two. I don't have one second. Almost there. Let me see. Is there a copy of Hamlet in this back room somewhere? That's the emergency. Will the alarm will sound? We got stencils. You know what? I should. You know what? Why did you try to go out the door? Okay, so oh, you. No, I just so. Did. The police and the fire department came in Lamont. Boy, was he mad. Well, he also died from sneezing Great. so much. I told you I wasn't good at sneaky stuff. This Rams, thank you so much. Cute, though. I don't uh, want to hear about it. He gets off duty soon. Forget it. He might have a brother. I'm. I'm gonna do it my second chance. Okay, we're back. Don't go through that door. Why is this off? Let me let me touch that. Okay, so everything we need is in this box. Everything we need is here. Bruno and Krantz. He's just now crying. Oh, eh, eh. No. Do we know him? He's a dog. Look at his good boy face. Well, what would I be able to spell? Tourned. Turn around. Bonnet. I could. Brew. We tried both. Bruno. Boule. Let's look at that dog again. One more time. I hate that we can't see this. Turn out. Trouble? You can spell trouble. You can spell double, too. Early in the dog's name. No. Did she try to leave a code in here? Yeah, I almost found it. I'm still looking. I am pacing. Amelinda. Have we tried braised pork? <laughs> Golden braised pork shoulder roast with turnips and roasted plums wrapped in puff pastry, which is called a bird. When you click on a Fleur de Lis, yeah. Every box in Louisiana does. Are for letters? Oh, H M 32. 
Some of these don't exist. He's still sneezing. He's gonna keep sneezing. 836. And then there's an X? Hamlet. Line 32, but I don't have access to Hamlet. You know what? Maybe we get this information to Nancy later and it doesn't have to do with solving this. Right, Morgan, but then there's 32. L, V, that doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Can you quiet down? I'm looking for the nose spray and I'll be right with you. Oh, this is so tough. Uh, Steph, I don't think it would have to do with that. Thirty-six. Eight, three, six. Oh, this poor man. I think the Hamlet thing is something I'm going to have to do back at the house. I think this is my clue. The background music. Do you, are you talking about the sneezes? Oh my god, Cam, we gave this poor man Bruno Blunt? Brent has got to be lower. Nothing. Boner is definitely something we can spell. Good morning, Mr. Sharky. Brute. No. Belt. The tall letter looked like an L. That's a U. It's a B R U. Oh, you mean. I mean. Bone, blunt. Can I give a hint, tip, please? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I love this guy, though. If this is part of the clue, try calling Nancy. I can't get this out. Oh. Hello. I can tell you it's in the box of stuff. Henry Bollet sold the Got it. Curio shop. Got it. Let's hear it. Okay. I found a real right, photo good. of a boy and a dog, and there was a photo of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? You heard me. And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton. All right. Man. We had to call her. Really? Let's see if this helps. Thought you'd like that. There's also a box that's locked by some kind of letter combination and that has two pieces of paper stuck to it. There's a bunch it. of random On letters. The first piece is a bunch of goofy stuff so she's going to ask Linda. her no, for Macbeth a stuff. Of numerical references to passages from Hamlet. Some of which don't even exist according to a note that I think Really? Did you unlock the box? No, I have no Slow idea. Slovest, yeah. Well, maybe there's something on those two pieces of paper that'll tell you. I'm not going to open the box. Yes, you are. You have to. There could be something really important inside. Because of me, uh, this Lamont's poor guy. out there having a sneezing conniption, I need to get him some nose spray before Brute? he breaks some part of his body I didn't even know he had. Beth, please. We've got to be thorough. And you've come too far to give up now. Uh, sneezing for the past 15 minutes. Can. Oh, all right. Awesome. Maybe I can help you. If you've got any suggestions, I sure wouldn't mind hearing them. Okay. My guess is that some kind of code is involved. You said that there are numerical references on the second page? Yeah, the passages from Hamlet. Maybe all that matters is the individual numbers and what order they're in. 
try applying the numbers to what Emma Linda wrote. Like, if the first number's three, write down what the third letter is. And if the second number's five, I count five letters from there and write it down. Oh, okay. no. Okay, I can do this. I won't call you again until after I've opened it. Oh, no. One, three, thirty-two. One, one, two, L-E... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. Lab. Lab. <laughs> Did I do that wrong? I think I might have counted wrong. Are you writing this down? I think it's. Lab. The <laughs> brawn. <laughs> one, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. I think it's lab. All right, we're going to write this down. Sir, I cannot think with you sneezing so much. I am trying lab. <laughs> Is it Leisha? Is it trying to spell Leisha? Keep going. 836. Should I start from the beginning now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or should I start from here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. E... One, two, three. Lebin. Lebin. What's the last one? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Lebin. Lebanin. Lebanin. Le lesbian. Oh my god, she was a lesbian. Lebanu. Lebin you. Do you think I was supposed to be on the... Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's Leb Lebin you. Eight, fourteen, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lebin One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lebin Nuna. Oh my god, it's really going for a really weird spelling of lesbians. 14. 1, 2... Th oh no, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Lebanuni? Lebanuni? I think it's a 10 or maybe it's an X. 8, 4... I did that one. 1, 12, X. 1, Lebanunis... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lebanuniso. And then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lebanuniso. Mm. Cam. So it's got to be le ba. Nani don't have it. Don't have it. Saw. I'm ending stream. You got a D? Some of them don't exist. Supermarket simulator. Uh, L E B eight three six one two three four five six seven eight eight two three four five wait one two N two three four five six U he is so dead he is just hemorrhaging out there. Eight fourteen four one two three four five six seven eight N 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. D. I did get this one wrong. D. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. T. And then 112 S. Was that the T I was on or is it O? O. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. D. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. R. Agatha Christie, hello. What's the T? Or did Nancy? The soul? We're about to find out. Let Ben. Oh, shoot. Gotta start over. Let Ben. Stop. D. T. O. D. R. Oh! Dr. Bolay, this completes our transaction. Whoa, this is weird. The whisperer is now yours. And read this to her word for word. Wow, Bess, that is weird. No, I'll Lebanon soot. Lebanon The letter is in. It's padded and it has Easy key, Lebanon soot. Indentation in it that's the exact size of a human uh -oh. skull. It's like it used to be a skull, but now it doesn't. Good job, Bess. I'm going to poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. That was an interesting one. go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. Lebanunst. He must keep no spray around because something's wrong with his sinuses. Oh, he's going to hate me. I just destroyed this man's face, brain. What am I supposed to be doing? Some time back, Bruno Bolle bought a skull called the Whisperer, which appears to be missing. Could that be what Skeleton Guy was looking for when I walked in and surprised him? Well, I'm going to go talk to the youngin' about this. Take care. There's a murderer on the loose, and I just killed a man and have to take him to the hospital. But you two both take care. Take care. All right, let's talk to him. Maybe he'll tell me a little something about this skull. Or maybe he'll be mad at me for snooping. Yes. I'll let you get back to work. I didn't expect Sounds it to good. be neither of those things. Okay, Michael Jackson, get back to work. I'm going to go talk to the lady who works on the porch. Hello again. Whose boat is tied up down there where the bayou comes up to the cemetery? Do you know? That would be She's my trying boat. to wrench it from his hands. very handy when I need to forage for certain swamp-dwelling plants. Nice, nice talking, talking to you. you. This was Fare a well. fantastic conversation. People say this game is hard. It's so easy. I'm going to forage for some plants. Where the fuck is this skull? Let's look around the house first because the outsource scares me. Which is very appropriate for somebody who identifies as a city kid. I'm going to go upstairs into my room. Nothing. What is that? I'm going to stare at my wall. I love my thinking wall. This is where I just go. I put my forehead against it. Sometimes I bang it a little bit because I can't really think of what to do. Okay, so we... There's a crystal skull in here somewhere. Out of a horror movie? I think that's where they expect me to stay. Okay, front door? No. Where is this crystal skull? Have you been everywhere in the cemetery yet? Probably. I accidentally clicked out of the game. Sorry, you saw top. I just got really... It was point and click and I just went point and clicky too hard. Um... Okay, where was the door out of here? Oh my god, Jackie Jack. Terrifying. Alright, I'm going into the graveyard. Hello, I am looking for Crystal Skull. Ooh! Shut up. 
It's a shooter? No, 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 no. That should keep you guys quiet for a while. Oh, <gasps> that's my friend Lizard's favorite food. I let out a scream to that wall. I love a shooter. Let me borrow that, Tom. Everything about the universe and you'll blow up. Was that was that what happened in the What's his name? Indiana Jones. I almost said Agatha Christie. But I don't think she wrote about the Kingdom of the C Crystal Skull. <coughs> that is my friend Lizard's favorite food. If he had to choose any of his favorite foods, he'd say yellow fruit. He'd say, I'd take one yellow fruit, please. And then he would just nibble at my belly button. Oh, it's this thing we do. I'm gonna go back out here. Wait, I saw Lizard. I saw Lizard in here. I'm gonna give him his fruit real quick. He's in this room? <gasps> what was that? That was Uncle Bruno's pet iguana, Iggy. It was a lizard. He's always in here stealing paper. He must be using it to build a nest or something. Look, I had all those books arranged so they fit perfectly in that box. I but saw. I, can, okay? I don't have time. I just want to uh, look through this one book. Uh, go right ahead. After you put all those other books back. Well, that's not how these work. I thought they all fit perfectly. Oh, no. It's a little to the left. A little to the left, Nancy Drew. How do I rotate them? Oh, you don't. I can do this. Oh, I can do this. This is real easy. I can do this. We need a skinny one over here. Oh, they thought this was going to be hard, but it's really easy. Oh, no. It's really easy for someone like me. Oh, no. Oh, God, I clicked out of it. It's really easy. I think this was like somewhere in the middle. And then something like that. And then this is up top. Say top again. And then that. Oh, that feels very thick. It can't go below that. This feels like it's got to go on top or bottom. Which is a binary that I exist in as well. So I completely understand. Book. Then I'm going to put these here. Because they've got the right chunk. And then I'm going to put... Well, what's going to go right here with this little chunk? I need a really skinny mini to go right up there. But I've got no sideways skinnies. I've got no side skinnies. Do you think that do you think that can go there? Do you think that's illegal? I don't know where they think the top of the bookshelf is. I'm all about a sideways skinny. Um that looks right. Thank you for Mented Sims. <gasps> Thank you for the Lurk Panda. Is it a real one or is it like one of your like signature panda lurks? Ignore the shadows. Well, I can't really tell which... N no tea, no shade against the Nancy Drew games. They're really beautiful. Some of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. What the fuck's a shadow in this game? I'm going to put this one. God damn it. It's too chunky. Can any books fit under the green one? No. No, the green is the bane of my existence. Oh, she's... Why is she like this? I don't know why she's like this. There's no skinnies that go there. Oh, that can go like that. Okay, I think I've nailed this. The box shadows. Okay, so we're just like going with just this rim, which is what I like to do too. I'm going to do... I feel like these go in the middle. 
R d rim? I feel like that's going to go here. Why? Oh, because it's overlapping that book. Get out of there. Can this go here? But what can go there? Easy. This is going to go in here. <gasps> oh, I thought I didn't do it there for a second. The Crystal Skulls. Fact or fable? Uh, this bitch left this thirsty bitch. She took one look at that emo man and she scrawled her number down here. She's a New York girly. Easy game, babies. <coughs> hello, hello, Kelly. How are you? Y'all, I need some water before I read out loud to you from this full thick book. Oh, by the way, I'm back. You're going to need to use the unlurk command. That's uncle. He probably wore eyeliner too. One of the most ancient and widespread legends known to humankind can be summed up thusly. Best sentence. Best sentence. Scattered over the earth are 13 humanoid skulls carved out of pure crystal. At some point in the future, fate will bring the 13 skulls together and they will speak, imparting wisdom that will save the human race from annihilation and usher in a golden era of peace and enlightenment. Enlightenment. Is this real? Do you think this is true? And should we make it our goal as a stream to find these skulls and make them talk? Just make this, sit them around. We'll give them each a little hat and then we'll sit them around like a tea table and then we'll just talk. It's very early reader. There are several versions of this legend. In one, the skulls were created by Mayans, Incans, or Aztecs and collectively form a repository of information detailing how and why humans came to be. Another legend credits their creation to the extraterrestrials who seeded the earth with the human race and left the skulls behind to explain their actions at some point in the future. Yet another contends the skulls are ancient in origin. Thank you for the lurk, J. Rook. Got, just got, got go to the mall? Just go to the mall. I want to go to the mall. Then we'll make them all kiss. Skulls are ancient in origin, but more important than that each skull is somehow magical in and of itself. Of course, they're each special. The distinctive gifts they offer their owners reputedly include precognition, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and of course, of course, immortality. Some variations combine all of the above. Yoink. Nancy turned the page of this old book, found a very cryptic note, and said, Mine. That's for me. That's going to go right in my breast pocket. What is both indisputable and intriguing about the general legend and its smaller, colorful variations is that several mysterious crystal skulls have indeed been discovered in the past millennium, turning up in all corners of the earth. What follows is an examination of everything that is currently known about these skulls. I need to know if this is real. This is freaking me out. Of their existence from fantasies of human imagination. The first documented reference to the crystal skull known as the Whisperer, that's our crystal skull, came in 1532. Hi, Ver Vervain, it's so good to see you. Shortly after, Hernando de Soto helped Francisco Pizarro ambush and capture the Incan Emperor uh, Atahualpa at the Battle of Cajamarca. Cajamarca? She stole a dead girl's chocolate. She's like, oh, she's been missing? Mm. Oh, this just melts in your mouth. Just melts in your mouth. De Soto's aide de camp, while updating the De Soto's expedition records noted that during Atahualpa's subsequent imprisonment, De Soto befriended the Incan ruler. In time, Atahualpa told De Soto a secret. He possessed an exquisitely detailed life-size human skull that the ancient ones had carved out of pure, clear crystal. He happened upon it in a hut of... Man, how many pages is this book? I think it's a real name. Deceased high priest whose astonishingly advanced age had caused his fellow priests, out of fear and jealousy, to slip him a fatal dose of poison. Atahualpa took a fancy to the skull... Sir, what were you doing with that skull? I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, which could whisper to him in an unearthly voice using unfamiliar words was given him immunity to all human ailments. As long as the possessed, he possessed the skull, Atahualpa told De Soto he would live forever. Except for that whole poisoning thing. But like the priest before him and like everyone who possessed this particular skull after him, Atahualpa soon discovered that while the skull could per perhaps protect him from the ravages of time and nature, he was no match for the treachery of his fellow man. To D De Soto's great surprise and dismay, Pizarro had Atahualpa know his friend. 
Although there is no other mention of the skull in De Soto's records, it is highly doubtful that the Spaniard would have left such a treasure behind when he returned to Europe in 1536. Indeed, the next documented reference to the crystal skull, which Atahualpa seems to have inadvertently bequeathed to the to De Soto, came in a letter written by a nobleman in the court of Philip II, the member of the Austrian... Ha oh my god, there's another page after this. What a year. Mm, what a good year. That's the year Schlitterbahn opened. The lines. The lines for the slides, Panda. Family who took over the Spanish Empire in 1556 while a guest at the Habsburg Palace in Vienna, the nobleman mentions encountering a crystalline head of death... That nose, though. What you do with that nose? Which a manservant swore made utterances strange and low, too terrible for the ear to bear. Apparently, the skull then made its way to France, most likely via Anne of Austria, who married King Louis. Don't care. Tell me about the skull. What's she whispering? This skull has tea. This skull has got some good fucking gossip throughout the years, and she is just going into different people's hands and just being like, bitch, listen. Bitch, you'll never guess what happened to Atahualpa. Sit down. You're going to want to sit down. You're going to want to sit down. The fact that the Saul took the skull with him to the expedition to colonize the Mississippi River Valley suggests that he may have been aware of its reputation. Jesus Christ, there's another page after this. Seven, 1881, the Whispering Crystal Skull, Wonder of the Ancient Incan World, Inquire Inside. This looks legit. This picture and Kate Middleton picture, realest pictures I've ever seen. Conferring immortality upon his owner, but once again, his real enemy proved to be not age or disease, but his fellow man, a group of his men, stranded in what is now Texas after the expedition landed in the wrong place and antagonized the local Native Americans, eventually mutinied and killed the Saul, so that they could abandon their mission and head for the relative safety of the French outposts in Canada. Canada? That's far. Especially when my voice is disappearing, Mr. Sharkey. The Whisperer, however, appears to have been left behind and didn't reappear until almost 200 years later. The photo to the right found in the basement of a library in Jonesboro, Arkansas, suggests that 1881, Atualpa's crystal skull had found itself in the hands of a traveling huckster, mm. Mm. who could apparently use to lure potential patrons to his wagon so he could sell them various bombs and elixirs. If he is the same Curtis Caldwell who, according to census records, settled in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, he lived and worked to the ripe old age of 93, dying only when a dissatisfied customer set fire to his house in a fit of anger. If the Whisperer was in Caldwell's house, it no doubt survived the fire, but exactly what happened to it next? Okay, Nancy, you read a little bit faster than I do. Give me a second. That is so rude. Don't read ahead and then be like, oh, he dies. Nancy, a moment. Spoiler alert first. She was hooked on phonics. She can just fucking sound this shit out so fast. She's one of those readers that puts her fingers on the line that she's on and she's just like, Panda, it's very that energy. You still reading? You still on that page? Can I turn it yet? You still reading? What is known about the skull's previous owners could prove very useful in solving that mystery for all the people who have possessed it and two things in common. They lived for an unusually long, long time and they always, without exception, met with death at the hand of another. In other words, the trail that leads to the discovery of the particular crystal skull will likely be one that begins with mur murder? I got there, Nancy. I finished the book too. All right. Let's go talk to him. Murder? Yes. How did Bruno die, if you don't mind me asking? People mind when you just start asking questions about their dead relatives. But let's do How it. How did Bruno die, if you don't mind my asking? He just dropped dead in the front hallway. I mean, the guy was 95 years old. Here, check it out. Oh, thank God this is what he was going to show me. Speak for heart attack. Attending I didn't know what he was about to show me. Was that Bruno's doctor? LAP, I'm not and sure. Best friend, or so I'm I don't think the, never they him. play on Max very well. Interesting keychain. That's one of Uncle Bruno's glass eyes. It's the one he was wearing when he died. How nice. Jacob, Anything he's just else? pouring over it. I want that eye. I'll let you get back to work. Awesome. I'm collecting those. Can I have that eyeball? I got a good collection going over here. LAB, yeah, they're on. I'm playing them via Steam, but I don't think they're optimized for Max. Hello again. 
Did Dr. Bole ever say anything to you about Can I have that to me inside? Can I touch that eye? I referred to it as the Whisperer. No, he never so much as mentioned a crystal skull, whispering or otherwise. This bitch, this bitch has it. You have it. You ground that fucking crystal skull up. You put it in your little popper's pouch and you sniff it every fucking night. I know you. I know you. I see right through you. Were you in the house when he died? Were you in the house when Dr. Bollet passed away? Welcome back, everybody, from those deep. ads. I was in the library cleaning when all of a sudden I heard a big thump. I hurried out to investigate, and sure enough, there was Dr. Bollet lying by the Do front door. Do it, Kelly. Door. And as I rushed over to him, the door opened and in walked Gilbert Buford. He took one look at Dr. Bollet and hollered at me to call Why was Gilbert Buford home. here? So I ran back into the library and did just that. Who the fuck is when Gilbert? I came back out, Gilbert was leaning over Dr. Bollet, listening for breathing, I suppose. Trying to kiss him. And then he started pushing up and down on his chest, but it was too late. Even I could tell that Dr. Bollet was gone. It was too late for hand stuff. He missed his opportunity, y'all. What was he doing by that front door? That was the doctor? What the fuck was he coming by for? Doctors do routine visits? Door-to-door -door doctors? Haley, thank you for the follow. What was what he doing was by he that doing door? By the front door? I assume he saw Gilbert coming and was going to open the door for him. Not that there was any need. As Gilbert Gilbert was stuff, very good with doors. People around here seldom lock their front doors during the day. Gilbert was but known Gilbert, to know how to open a door. In the back of my mind. I have always wondered about Gilbert Buford showing up at the door at that exact moment. Oh, thanks, Don. It's just that it's gone. I feel fine. I think from all of the coughing and how loud it is at work, I just lost it. There's only like two main side characters in this one, Slovest, at the moment. I think we're going to meet Mr. Gilbert. Uh, Iguana is going to play a large role because I have her favorite fruit. I understand that Dr. Bollet had some interesting pets, like an iguana. That, that man, man knew a door. A creature he didn't like. Oh, she said he that man at the same time. He all kinds of silly tricks, then let him run free inside the house as well as out. Do you know how he went about do training you know them? Does it have to do with lemons? I surely do not. Don't get me wrong. I like Dr. Bollet. I truly did. But I swear, Does... sometimes his activities made as much sense to me as bathing in a bayou full of gators. It's pretty intense. I'll lead you to your potting. Fade Did away. it have anything to do with taunting them with lemons? Because I got a hot, hot lemon to give. Oh, shit. Can I have that? Step on it, Nancy. Is there like a song you like? Oh my god. There's a song the spider wants me to play. Of course. We gonna play a little ditty for that spider. Okay, I'm gonna go look at her bow. I'm so obsessed with her. The drama that drag queen is giving up there. I'm gonna go look at her bow. Maybe she's got some special mushrooms on it. Wait, where was her boat? Her name is Charlotte. Ooh, spoiler alert. She's gonna die. I think her boat is out here. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Can I pet that boat? Spider likes WAP. Well, I don't think WAP is in, is in C major, which is all I have. Okay, nothing in the boat. Did I go back here? Nothing in Tierra Siesta. Oh, is that key going to be to the mausoleum? I'm going to have to ask somebody about this spider and her favorite song. To figure out if there's anything camouflaged in that design, I'm going to need some paper. Well, I know somebody who's real good at scavenging up some fucking paper. I know who's good at it. 
There's a iguana who lives in the house. Who's got all the fucking paper. Um, what was back here? Dead end. Cute. Down here? Dead end. Right, and we saw that. I'm not really sure what that does. What was over here? Right. Sorrow. What was over here? Withering roots. Great. This is the first room, basically. Fantastic. All right. Let's go try to find the iguana inside. Easy to trap him. Uh, I've got his favorite fucking fruit, too. Little iguana. I have a fruit. I have one delicious fruit for you. Maybe I should put that fruit in, like, the hole in the wall. That shadow. Her shadow. It's very mysterious in this one. Are you in my room? I love my thinking wall. I love it. Okay, Iguana is not upstairs. Oh, we also could unlock this door, potentially. With that key from the spider. Fruit hole. This is where the old man died. Love this house. Tour of the house. I'm going to put in those symbols on this. <clears throat> Did Sorrow peek? What do you have to show me? Nothing? Great. I came for the delicious fruits. Only if you're a good iguana. Okay, Sorrow Park has nothing for me. This one's just a dance party, which we love. Gorge. Then you can touch the gator. But all he does is sort of snap. Forty Winks Mausoleum. I found the eyeball in there. That's clever. That was the gay fountain. Oh, look at those Dan butts. We do love the Dan butts. Take it and fucking run. And I'm going to get no paper from it. Withering roots. Did I do this? I hated that. I hated that it was just a bone. Okay. Nothing to see here. Love a bone. Love a spring-loaded bone. Nothing to see here. Anything to see in this dark chaise lounge corner? Nothing. Nothing. All right, I'm going to talk to Emo Boy, and then I'm going to call Bess. I need to find the easiest way to look at him. It wasn't that. Definitely wasn't that. I don't know where this boy is in this room. Yes? Do you know where I could find some plain paper? Perfect. Thanks to that iguana, papers Rainy like Kern. non-existent in here. This is an interesting one. Renee. I'm going to keep looking around. <laughs> So far, I like the puzzles, though. I hate that I have to wait for him to sit back. Hello again. Do you by any chance have some plain paper that I could use? I'm Turn left. Do. Thank you, No H Noel. That's up my room. Hi, Isla. And I'm afraid I cannot retrieve it for you until I'm finished. Here. As beige, it you really get is. You sudden urge to draw a picture? Something like that. I know. I'll help you. That way, you'll get done faster. Gracious, you are the picture of impatience, aren't you? Okay, I literally well, just offered you help. The offer. But here, why don't you just take this instead? It's an extra key to my room. Perfect. The paper's in a drawer in my nightstand. Oh my god, I that iguana is... On account of that paper thieving iguana. Don't worry, I've just got go a fruit. Up and help yourself. I've got his but favorite sure fruit. you lock the door when you leave, you hear? You I trust. But Henry, him I do not. I really appreciate this. And long as you're going up there, 
My appetite could use a little placating, so I would be much obliged. Oh, you don't trust me around your candy bars. From my nightstand. They are Take ginger lizard. While you're at it. Bussy box. Oh, you know Nancy Drew was. She was not waiting for you to make that offer. Henry is the snake. Henry is the emo boy with the eyeliner. Oh my god, Nancy, it's in your fucking pocket. Okay, the paper is in a drawer. Is that all I need? Ma'am, I'm going to snoop. You cannot give Nancy Drew access to... One for to Renee. <sighs> How many One can... One for me. Yum. Gosh, these things are good. These are so good. Nancy's never had a fucking caught chocolate bar before in her life. That is just like a store-bought Hershey's. Was that one of y'all? <gasps> oh. I was going to say. Okay, well, whoever it is bought that. From Zeke's. Oh. That was that. Don't I have a piece of paper that looks like that? Well, I don't know what that is. No. I really want to look in that special little box. Oh, this is going to be important. Oh, no. I think I've done something terrible. Oh, you get four clicks to make these? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't think I... Oh, I do need that there. I don't need that one. I'll need this and this. This, the no, not that one. Okay, this one, this one. No. No. Ooh, it does need that, doesn't it? Does it? No. That. Nope. Did the wrong one. It's that one. Okay, and then what's the last thing it needs? Those squiggles. Where are they? Where are those squiggles? There. Okay. So this one, this one, that one. Uh oh. Where was it? That one, that one, that one. Seven. There. Right? One, four, s okay. We did it. And now, noise. Now, okay, that's that. Darn. Okay, that. So that one, that one. Bottom line squiggle. That one. Darn it. That's what I needed. Oh, no, it's not that because that has a, a line on it. So much for that raid, Veronica. Welcome in, raiders. How we doing, chickens? A message in a haunted hotel. I loved that one. The haunted mansion. That one is a great one. First playthrough. Veronica, thank you so much for that follow. Raiders, welcome in. My name is Polygon. You can call me Paul, Polly, or Polygon. Gay variety streamer. He, him. So this is our first playthrough of Legend of the Crystal Skull. 
what was that one? Oh, shoot. Where was that? There. Okay. That one, that one. Oh, did it freeze for a second? Gosh, why does it keep doing that today? That's so weird. Did it pop off there for a second? It's okay. Well, hold on a second. I thought we were having Oh, a we want that for that. Thank you so much for that. Follow Silvershade. Welcome. I was panicking. Don't worry, we're still here. I've had so many issues with stream today, though. Oh, yeah, that, 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 and then what was the, that one? Okay, I need one more thing. Ooh, it's one of the, I think it's seven. Darn it. Darn it. I misguided, gauged that. Damn. Was it four? No. What was the one with the dots? Oh, this is tough. I know. Twitch is so messy, Kiki. It happened with the first raid, too. Hairspray, despite all the problems. Ben de la Creme, great choice. Kimchi is really good, too. Always a classic. So have you played them all before, Veronica? Okay, I need that. Did I need six? Yes. I don't need seven, but I do need the squiggle lines. Okay. And there's one more that's dots and I can't remember where the dots go. So let's look at these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, eight, ten. And I just need to find those dots. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. This is my first time playing. Yes, Veronica. Thank you, Devin. Do I need those dots again? I need... No. I will need that. So I need... Negative one. And that gives me all of that. Don't need that. I'll need that. One, two, three, four, five. One. Five. Six, seven, no, eight, so one, two, three, four, five, eight, and I need one more. It's the hearts. Is it coming back? What's coming back? I mean, I've never played this. I feel like the hearts was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Connection was lost. Please refresh it. it. Happened to me. Yeah. It's just down today. One of them were. Yeah. One, five. Oh, gosh. I don't remember what. It, oh, it's that one. I think it was on the left. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh, damn it. <coughs> oh, I'm doing that wrong. I see. Nailed it. Okay. <coughs> Just bought and downloaded Supermarket Sim. You're going to love it. You're going to love that one. I need some water. Mm. Thank you, Steph, for that hydrate. I needed it. Last one to do. 
this like game looks overwhelming. All of the Nancy's feel a little bit overwhelming sometimes because it's like, what am I supposed to do? So I need that and that, those two. One, two, one, two, two and three. I don't remember where the big swoops are. There's one. There's one. Nailed it. I'm really good at shapes. I'm so good. Oh, what does that say? Who do signs and symbols? Uh oh. I'm taking a picture. And couldn't stop playing. There, It is a very addicting game loop. I sure did. I sure got it. Vuzu, boo, do, ho. Okay, we're going to have to do something. Writing the symbolic equivalent of the spell on an object placed between the originator of the spell and its recipient. Between the originator of the spell and... The There's one on the wall, isn't there? Oh. Blue Moon Canyon. Nanner screenshots. It's very that. Not that Blue Moon Canyon nightmare. She did put something on her wall. And it was between her and me? Aren't I the recipient? Oh, it's so good, Isla. All right, let's look. Let's look at this. Was that the only thing to touch in there? Yes. Okay, so that symbol is Ba... Za Zu Where's that little circle come from? When I was 12 I don't know where that little circle maybe that's just a mark. Baza Zupa D. Write this down. Baza Zupa Dimu Ka. Baza Zupa Dimu Ka. Figured it out. What was I supposed to bring her? A chocolate bar. I know I have paper now. I swear to God, if I go out there and Nancy's like, well, I don't have a pen, I'm going to be... S oh, I clicked out of the game. Dimuka. Bazazupa. <laughs> Please don't memorialize that. Okay, we got them. Oh, the coal. That's right. I have the coal. Okay. Baza's Lock the door. Do you think I have... Let's see. She said she trusted me. So let's just try it out. Oh, thank you for that. Follow Clou Cloudy Cat Cuddly Ghost Hound. Love it. No, I can't lock it. Is it slightly static, Biddy Babe? I can unplug the mic and plug it back in. Bazazupa. Can I get that toasted? It locks automatically. Thank goodness. It's one of those doors. I hate those. I don't see them on YouTube. Beth Ann, no, because I didn't save them when I first started playing. And I forgot to upload them. Fine for you. Okay. 
Do I have anywhere to be today? I don't. I was supposed to go see a show tonight, and that show is now canceled. Well, Cuddly, welcome in, chicken. Oh, I need to give her her chocolate bar. You bring me that Coco Kringle bar like you I asked? You know I did. Right here. Bless you. I'm so hungry I could devour these plants I'm potting up. Don't well, I would suggest like I'll water and actual food. To you. Those weird symbols on the wall in your room. Do you know who painted them? A poop in itself. Oh, no. Fact, the matter is, there's a spirit living in that wall. A spirit. I saw there was a big old like vagina cut into it. Spawn a Dracula himself. <gasps> Did I finish my second cup of coffee? In the dead of night, half talking, half whispering, saying this one word I never heard before, like it was from a language no Wait, one on us. Wait, it's back on tonight. And suddenly, I knew. So we're going. The spirit was trying. Oh, then I have something to do. Spell on me. So you I stop Bianca Del Rio. And found out that by painting the word I heard on the wall. Syllable by syllable in hoodoo signs, I could counteract the word's power. And you know what? The spirit has not spoken that word or any other since. What was the word? Okay, Darling, I'll see you there. Full of water moccasins couldn't get me to say that word out loud. Nor will I write it down. No, sir. That wall no, is ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Well, I just said it out loud in my room. Anytime. I really hope I'm okay. Bazazupa. It was so wholesome. Oh, that's cute. I love that. All right, let's go copy down these symbols. It was that chat. Let's go get our, our carvings and then we'll just end stream. Because Twitch is real broken. Twitch breaks a lot on Nancy Day. We can hear you. Knock once if you're okay, chair. Where was it? Up here? Okay, Nancy. Really good. Coffin. Great. Which one did I just do? That one? I did that one. Okay. This one. It was everyone's. Wait, everybody's Twitch went down for a moment? Wasn't able to watch the stream. Dumpling, it's been Nancy Day. Don't worry, Dumpling. The stream ended, like, several times. Bruh. You ended? Wow. Stan, that's terrible. I lost my mind for a second. Literally all of them have been going down. Jolie. You know what? They're not the... Last night, um, Verizon was down really bad. And then, like, this morning they were all down as well. Hi, Paul. I mean, hi, Fui. No ads? You can let the ads roll. Because that's kind of the right time for them. No, I would never. Um, Okay. They're hacking my stream. The stream is just quality. They know good quality. I think you're quaffing too much. Not a graveyard pun. Toast, look at that watch stream streak. Ten? You're streaking over here ten times. Okay, I don't know what order these should go in, though. That's my problem. I'm not sure the order. Worm. Is there an order to it? Are you streaming until? I'll probably do like 30 more minutes, Audrey. Coffin. Bones. Wait, I had a raven too? <gasps> oh, they have edges on them. Oh, okay. Raven has those these edges. So this is raven. Got it. Look at the borders. Got it. Match up the frames. Y'all are on top of it. Worm has 
these edges, I think. Yes. Coffin has flowers. Great. And then that'll be okay. Bones has flowers. Ooh, but they're different. These are bones. I love you too, Tina Tater. What is that going to let me into? The mausoleum? Maybe that. Having some major issues in my area. I guess everything's down right now. We are in ads, my loves. If you're sitting through ads, thank you so much for that support. Oh my god, Jolie, you dreamed about Fui? I wish Fui was rich. He'd give me all that money. I just know he would. Fui, give me your rich, rich money. And let me stay at that hotel. I know, she's really twitchy. I'm just sitting right here. What'd you do for birthday, Kim? Dan and I are rich, rich. Can I have you and Dan's money? Oh my God, Henriette, you had to refresh so many times. Nancy Drew Barrymore, thank you so much for that hydrate. Thank you for the four biddies, Hamp. Oh, we waking up the dead. Slow vest. <laughs> Weren't you just in the office? Sir... That was very emotional. And my parents and her grandmother over in... Oh, that sounds so lovely, Cam. Cloud Bole. He's a sad boy. He's got so many feelings. Marianne. Marcel. And Fifi. Girl, Fifi. This must be the painting that goes in that empty. Ah, got it. I'm not sure what we need the information on those graves for. He's a sad, sad little orphan boy. But let's go put this picture up in there. I saw you crying out there. I saw you crying. Yes. Oh, we're both going to pretend that didn't I'll happen. I'll let you get back to work. Save. Groovy. You got it. Ew, not groovy. We are both pretending that we did not see each other. I'm coming in here and I'm going to put this painting right there. Are they all vampires? They don't look well. They're missing some iron in their diets. That's for sure. Hatchet monkey fan dot poodle hat. They're all holding something. Banana. By hotness. Rank who you'd swipe left on. Left. Left. Right on those two. Left because of the good dental hygiene. Uh, left because... Just the choices for that picture. That limpress, the banana as a prop. I just really respect him. Banana next to monkey. We're not making another Rube Goldberg machine over here. They are into some kinky fucking shit. Hi, Mariah Cakes. How are you, chicken? What's the day like? Don't you have something with letters on it? Yeah, but it's like wood 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 T B Oh no. This is the pictures. Monkey? I'm gonna say monkey axe Umbrella is the end. And then monkey goes here. What's F? Fan. Hat over here. Toothbrush up top.
B. Banana. How could I forget about that? It's in voodoo language. What is? Lollipop, hat, axe. So I just need to switch this. Knew it. Knew it. Uh. 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 <gasps> That's almost our book hags book. I have the Uroburos. You never said anything about that. Well, how was I supposed to know? I mean, what am I, telepathic? No, no, come on. I know, Aaron. I keep breaking things by moving Look, around. I'll, I'll see what I can do, okay? What do you mean, something else? You got Who's this summer? Me, summer? I don't have that kind of money. No, no, I meant I don't have it now. Oh, Marissa, no but worries. I will. Soon, okay? On Bye. April 15th? Oh, okay, S Summer wants a lot of money from him. Oh, this is the spider what? room. Naturally. The spider key leads me there. But I do have... I need to go find the Eye of the Uroburos in the library. Because that's going to have... <clears throat> some kind of clue as to how to calm this spider down. Nope. It doesn't. Spider key goes in spider lock. Would Nancy be able to put that together? Absolutely not. Why do I have another fucking eyeball? I don't want an eyeball. Alright, I'm going to talk to him about Summer. Yes? I'll stop bugging you now. What? Are we in the walls? We were for a second. I don't want to stop bugging you. I want to talk about how you were crying and then you were t getting blackmailed. Have you figured out I'll what to do with the party. eyeballs? The well. No! Um, that chair is so high and really rocky, Audrey. Every time he gets in it, just rocks back and forth. I'll be with you in a moment. Beth? I guess it's time to call Beth. Let's go out in the rain to do it. Oh, I forgot I can call Professor Hodgkiss. Oh, there's a lot of people to call. Hello? Hey, what's going on? That's funny. That's what I was going to ask you. I'll see you later. Bye. I don't want to be on Bess. I don't think I should be on Bess. I love Bess. Hello? Boss, Aaron, you missed it. Much. You get to play as Bess in this one. What about you? Ditto. Talk to you later. Bye. You switch over to Bess and we... Made a man sneeze for like 10 minutes straight. Professor Hand Kiss. Yes, hello. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. Best Is choice. This Professor Hodgkiss? I am she. Nancy Drew. Your name has a ring to it. Yeah. Do I know you? Full level as her. Yes, as a matter of fact, we met a little while You're back. You're so right, Sir Amelia. Oh, oh, maybe there's a little clue yes, on it. Yes, you were the delightful young lady doling out the samples in the tasting room of that cheese. Of course. Yum, yum. Of course. Uh, no, I met you at Whitford Castle. That's ridiculous. There was no cheese tasting room at Whitford Castle. I love her. No, we were both guests there. I found a journal. I love her so much, Haunted Pizza. Which you translated. Remember? Thanks to you, suddenly all I can think about is how wonderful a nice big slab of cold beef cheese. I didn't do that right to you. Now. Listen, Mandy, I'm on a deadline, so if you could please oh just tell God. me why you love called. her. But my name is. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Chop, chop. Did a man from New Orleans named Bruno Bullet Treasure in the you? Royal Tower. Ah, now and the treasure was cheese. Hi, Kiana. Welcome in. Nice and French. I'm a scholar of French history, you know. Yes, I know. So did Bruno Bollet call you? Indeed he did. You love her even more. Do I meet her in this one? Why did he call? If you don't mind my asking. Listen, because Mandy. Because you read my book, of course. Really? It was eight pages long. Rich, 
Did he say anything about owning one of the skulls himself? I would have hung up on him straight away if he had. I tell you, Brandy, if I had a dollar for every Ma'am. called claiming to own one of those skulls, I'd be able to dine at the Russian tea room every evening for the rest of my life. All right, that's a bit of hyperbole, but you get the picture. No. If memory serves, we talked mostly about the skull called the Whisperer. He wanted to know if I had learned any more about it since my book was published, which I hadn't. Or it's if I had Nancy's favorite line, Slovest. Which I didn't. You do, and Jolie? That was the extent of your conversation? Well, now, let me think. My, my, such insatiable curiosity, Nelly. You're you going to land on it one of these days. I encountered on one of my journeys. But for the life of me, I cannot remember her name. Or Tina, we are doing some digging. Nancy Drew, Wickford Castle. Ah, the eyes have it. I'm sorry? That's what Bruno Bolet said when I turned the tables and asked him if he had any idea where the Whisperer was. He said, hmm. the eyes have it. The eyes. And he chuckled and hung up. If someone found a skull made of crystal, how could they be sure it's one of the crystal skulls? Wonderful question, Brandy. It's good, 23J Cat. This one's good. Because there are sure to be thousands of fakes out there. Perhaps tens of thousands. Aaron, especially Remember, if you're pretty sure you're getting spam called, I 100% recommend it. tools commonly used for carving today were invented. Which means, let's put on our thinking caps. Modern day tools would have left marks if the skull was a fake. Modern day tools would have left marks if the skull was a fake? Exactly so. Perfect. You, I'm a genius. The marks on a good fake would be microscopic and thus imperceptible to the human eye. However, any thorough laboratory analysis would quickly unmask a counterfeit. So the only way to prove that a I skull love it, is Ari. a real deal is by proving it's not a fake? And by examining its provenance, its history of ownership. Senior detective over here. can make its own owner do you believe that who've ever owned the whisperer were murdered yet bruno bole de dropped dead of a heart attack well she doesn't believe he owned it the idea that the whisperer can make its owner immortal do you believe that i believe that things that defy any so-called rational explanation happen all the time nessie nessie now we're getting real far away queen squiff thank you for the rose thank you Oh, that's fun, 23 Jack. Or does it all boil down to us? Nessie. If the human heart desperately wants something to be true, does the human mind have the power to make it true? Who knows? Oh, questions, questions, questions. Oh, how dreary life would be without them. Oh, you're delightful. I'm going to say that's it, that's for, it now. for now. Good luck to you. Rolls ours. With some accent that doesn't actually make any sense. Let's call Dr. Buford. The eyes have it, though. So the eyes are holding some sort of clue. This is Dr. Gilbert Buford's answering service. How may I help you? I need to talk to Dr. Buford. Could you maybe give me a number where I can reach him? No, ma'am. I cannot. This, this one has a emergency. lot of voice glitches. Sort of. I mean, it's not a medical emergency. I just... See, I'm only going to be in town for a short time, and Dr. Buford and I have this mutual friend who died recently, and I just really need to talk to him about it. Very need that, Tina. Consoling, huh? Yes, I need some consoling. That's it exactly. Well, tell you what. It's against the rules to give you his phone number, but I can tell you that now that he's all but retired, Dr. Buford spent uh, most of his evenings at his let's go, Bess. down in the French Quarter. Holy hip really violation over here. Very that. Probably find him there. Great. Do you know the address? It's at the corner of Rampart Bess is going to go Dumaine. make this man sneeze to death. Say Rampart and Dumain? I did indeed. Granny Pumpkin's Cajun cooking. They make some darn fine gumbo. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, and uh, I'm truly sorry about your loss. All but retired, high-kipped, did. Mutual friend of yours and Dr. Buford's. 
Oh, right. <gasps> Smithson, thank you so much for the Prime subscription, darling. That is so sweet of you. I know you only get one of those a month, so thank you for using that here. Okay, let's take a look at these eyes. Oh, you can't. The eyes have it. Bess, I gotta call you. Because I need you to go to a gumbo store. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's me. So what's been happening? Tell me everything. Well, let's see. Since the last time we talked... Now it's going to fade out. All the voice glitches. Oh, Smithson, that's so sweet. Interesting stuff. But the reason I called is, I need you to talk to this doctor named Gilbert Buford, who... A gumbo store. Likes I want to gumbo. Out at a gumbo stand called Granny Pumpkin's Cajun Cookin'. Well, I wasn't you completely right wrong. From our hotel. You just want me to talk to him? That's, That's him? Nothing That's been him the whole time? No black ops stuff? He was Bruno Bollet's doctor, and apparently his best friend, too. Dom, it's I been in and out today. Weird about the way I love gumbo, died. too. What do you mean by weird? I mean, I kind of think maybe Bruno was murdered. Murdered? By whom? Uh, That's what I'm trying to figure out. Jolie, there's this... A suspect at this point. There's this, Including like... This Gilbert Buford guy? Uh, oh, Cajun slash soul food restaurant in Houston. Oh, sure that is fine, so good. Hi, would a thin. Well, I can see the gumbo stand from our balcony. I love Disco He's Elysium. Sitting down there, I guess he looks harmless. Are we well, playing okay, Disco Elysium? Talk to him. Thanks, I've Beth. only ever started happens. Disco Elysium. Cheerio. But hi, would a thin. How are you? Um, and I bought their gumbo, and it came with a full crab in it. I was so into it. Why, hello, young lady. How They're both detective game games. games. That's so true. With your lovely present. Well, hi there, Dr. Gilbert Bu Buford. Are you Dr. Gilbert Buford? I'm delighted to report that I... Disco Elysium is so interesting. I started it, I got to the body in the tree, and then I stopped playing. Your answering service said I'd I'm going to throw this man under the bus. This here is my favorite spot in the whole city. Delicious gumbo. Why 23? View, particularly now, I might add. Oh, Jolie. <laughs> my name's Bess Marvin. I'd like to ask you some questions about Bruno Bolet. Got a weak That's stomach? Okay? I was like, not the body. Well, that little kid was so annoying, too. Nature, but I do not want to seem inhospitable, so what is it you want to know? Is there any doubt? I really want to. I just want to go for the jugular. Died? He died of a myocardial infarction, most likely caused by age related atherosclerosis. Dying of a heart attack is all too common for people who are socially isolated. And Bruno Bollet had most certainly become. How have things been, Woody? He was hard to get along with? Fact is. While socializing with my fellow man, particularly with pretty young women such as yours. Everybody's straight in these games. Has always been a source of pleasure for me. Bruno was just the opposite. I don't like him. Unfortunately, the older he got, the more numerous his idiosyncrasies Good. became. Good, what a It's glad to have you back. And about their negative effect upon others, he became. He's creepy. Did they do an autopsy on Dr. Yeah, he's so gross to her. No. Given Bruno, <gasps> there is catastrophe. I love that indication of foul play. An autopsy was I am like losing my voice today, but I think for some reason. Wishes. Dr. Belay's housekeeper says you just happened to walk in just as he was having his heart attack. Is that true? Indeed, it is. Bob, I hadn't seen him. Skull mask while, right there. So I picked that day to pay him a visit. I walked up to the front door. Found it unlocked as usual, opened it, and there he was, lying on the floor in obvious distress. He killed him. He 100% killed know, him. His housekeeper came running in and started I love this bowl of crawfish right here. Until finally I sent her out of the room so she could summon an ambulance, and I could once again hear myself think. Then I... Well, let's see. Then I knelt down and saw that he wasn't breathing. So I pulled him away from the door away so I'd have more room to work on him and began chest compressions. I continued until the medics arrived. How convenient. A difference either. <laughs> this is the plot of Legally Blonde. 
Why would he have a... Would he have a this is a great question. That's always been a bit of a puzzlement to me, too. Can you remember anything that might indicate what he was doing by the front door? I mean, had he just come in from a walk? Was he wearing a hat? Was he was wearing he a hat? Anything? Very important to whether somebody something? had a heart attack or not. An umbrella, sunglasses. Wait a minute. Why, yes. I yes, didn't yet, Casey Jean, himself. but I didn't tech one, check once I started a stream. And on the floor next to him was an envelope. He must have collapsed while reading Glad a Glad to letter. see you rocking it. Well, thank you, Woodathan. I've been enjoying it. We have a lot of fun with all different types of games. Playing a lot of Nancy Drew. We've been playing Supermarket Simulator. He was holding something, a piece of paper, and on the floor next to him was an envelope. He must have collapsed while reading a letter. Do you know what happened to it? Now I know the letter was no longer in Bruno. Not the hot costume. Leon, I love you too. So perhaps he released the letter when I moved him. And yet I do not recall seeing it on the floor when you love her. I him out the door. Iggy. What's Iggy? Iggy. Iggy is a oh. friend and turned loose in his home. It soon developed the annoying habit of stealing paper and stockpiling it in the vent system. Vents, okay. Did you see Iggy while you were tending to Bruno Did that day? Did you see Iggy while you were tending to Bruno that day? No, but then I rarely ever saw Iggy. There's that vent in her room. It would not have been the first time a missing document ended up in Iggy's possession. Rene would periodically call me saying the lizard had absconded with one of Bruno's prescriptions and would I please write her mm -hmm. up a replacement. In any case, Bruno once told me he was training Iggy. Said he taught Iggy to retrieve the things it had stolen. Think it's possible that Rene caused Dr. Bole's death by, say, hoarding the pills from those missing prescriptions and giving them to him all at once? <gasps> Bess is just like, let's say, talk about it. Do you think that woman murdered him? Missing prescriptions and giving Do you think he was martyred by the plant woman? No. Had he died of an overdose of the medications I had prescribed, the manner of his death would have Oh, that's the sneezy deep. guy, isn't it, Tina? I thought it was in her room. Of that, I am certain. However, I know for a fact that Rene is deeply involved in the practice of hoodoo. And as Bruno's housekeeper, she had ample Bess is just digging in. Hi, P. Walt. Are you home yet? You mean hoodoo really works? I am. Gross. I'm sad you have to go to a meeting. If a person believes in something, even on a subconscious level, fantasy can easily become fact. And who knows what rubbish Renee filled Thank Bruno's you, Aaron. With. I'm excited. I thought it was Don't we were going to have it wasn't going to happen. This brings good luck. That brings bad day in and day out even if he said he didn't believe a word of it. Who knows how much his subconscious was absorbing? He was very old and vulnerable. So could Renee have caused Bruno to have that fatal heart attack? There's not a doubt. What soap operas? Was she so involved? I love that. Did Dr. Bollet ever say anything to you about owning a crystal skull? Why, yes. Yes, he did. In fact, he showed it to me once. What? He said it had magical powers. Said owning it was going to allow him to live forever. I thought it was utter nonsense and told him so. Well, he didn't appreciate that at all. Refused to talk to me for a full two weeks. Do you have any idea where he kept it? No. He was terrified that someone would steal it from him. So he told no one Interesting. Not even me. Tell me, Miss Bess. What do you know about that crystal? Story? Literally everything. I read this a really good book. A friend of mine, who is also a friend of Henry Bollet. Oh, you she's know, she's really taking it. Nephew. Anyway, while she was visiting Henry, she saw this book in Bruno's library about the legendary crystal skulls. And was it's kind not of Henry. I thought that since Henry said that you were pretty much Bruno's But it is friend, of a newer age. Bruno had said something to you about it. And as it turns out, he had. That's all I know. I see. Well, much as I'd like to believe that skull holds the key to immortality, I'm afraid Bruno's passing proves it's worthless. Although it would make an attractive paper. He wants it. He wants it. Tell your friend not to give it another thought. What kind of game is this? Thanks for your They're time. They talking about crystal? Feel free to drop by any time. All right, we need to call Nancy. Let her know all the information we just gathered. We should go apologize to that man, too. 2007. Oh, it's an old one. 
Okay, here's what's been I think happening. Panda tried to tell me that earlier. And that's pretty much it. I like it. Work. Casey, thank right. you so much Thanks for the 20 you. months, gorgeous. Thank you for that Prime Bye. subscription. That is so sweet of you for using that here. <clears throat> Many of we don't talk about Bruno joke has been made in chat. But I mean, like for video games, Hamp, video games have come a long way since then. So I need to talk to Hello. somebody about Iggy. I'll see you later. I need to get care, Iggy honey. out of the vents. I need to. Yes. I'll let you get back to work. How do I get Iggy out of these vents? 17 freaking years, Hamp. Wild. Talk to the old man. Yeah, how did she get down there? There's no vent in here, right? No. I have the key to her room. Let's check her room. Right, right, right. Nancy. You don't have to jiggle the door. You have the key. Iggy. Iggy, you in here? Right in the middle? That's not a vent. That's the, the Wallisi. Oh, of the games. Why are people gay nowadays? Have you ever tried it, Pac-Man? You'll love it. You gotta try it. I have a feeling you, Pac-Man, you, of all people, wandering into a gay person's stream um, randomly on Twitch, I have, I have a sneaking suspicion. You're going to fucking love it. If you went over to his Twitch, random Twitch, of a gay person and was like, why are people gay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's a homosexual. That's a homosexual right there. Because you know what? People who aren't homosexual spend zero time thinking about why people are gay. Zero time. Now you have to kiss. They spend zero time. And if they spend any time thinking about it, they then don't go to the internet and write, go to Twitch and look for a gay streamer and be like, why are people gay? Just eating bus the whole fucking time. Ms. Pac-Man, not married. You want to know why? Because Mr. Pac-Man's gay. I'm excited, though. I'm excited for this journey that Pac-Man's about to go on. Pac-Man, if you're still there, if you're hanging out because you're banned, go to www.sniffies, that's S-N-I-F-F-I-E-S, dot com, and go find yourself a nice tree, baby. Hopefully you won't be in shame for too much longer. Bye! <sighs> She's going to go grab her ankles behind a tree in a park in about two hours, y'all. I'm so excited for her journey. I'm so excited. Thank you for the hydrate. Wait, Polly, are you gay? Is this my coming out? Spider puzzle. You're right. Now sponsored? I should get a sponsorship. It's probably how I ended up with this no voice. Um... Where was that hole? Oh, it's behind this plant. What time are you playing until today? I don't know. Bye, bye, Panda, if that's real. If that's a real lurk. Welcome back, Jay Rook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Don't remember it at all gonna go ahead and take a picture see it wasn't real no it's not real you're still here you're still here it's not real all right go into the drain bitch I got you I got your favorite song it goes like this. We're in ads. Four.
I knew it. I knew you fucking hated that song. It was either love or hate. I couldn't remember which one. All right. We've got this. Let's go see Iggy. What a tune. Gorgeous. That's a New Orleans staple. You hear it in all the bars. She loves it. Oops. I don't know why I'm upstairs. Oops. Turn around. All right. We go in here. And I go spider key. Perfect. What is this room? We're in ads. Oh my God. Wait, I did hear about that. We can play ski ball. Oh no, I'm going to be very bad at this. I'm going to be very bad at this. Bye. Bye. That looks too complicated. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. That's Hello. so rude. I don't want to do this. Oh, no. What was it that I made him read? Where are we? We're in the walls. I forgot he was a dentist. He was a one-eyed dentist. Iggy, come here, Iggy. Got something for you. You're going to fucking love this lemon. Can't just something just be a thing? Can't a thing just be a thing? What do I do with you? Where do you want it? Where do you want this? It's now, it's now a, a iguana dressing simulator. Oh my God. Oh my God. You look so fucking good, Izzy. Iggy. Oh my God. It's just an iguana dress up simulator. If you dress him up, right? Does he like being a detective? Oh, that picture. He liked that. He liked... Oh, he had the lemon. What else did he have? Did he have that little hat? I don't think he had the glasses. Remember the photo? I do. He had a pirate outfit? Well, I don't have pirate hat. Wait, where's the other hat? He's missing his pirate hat? Oh, no. That's the most important hat. Iggy, where's your hat? Oh, no, Iggy. No, don't go away. Oh, my God. Do I have to go get another lemon? God damn it. Iggy, I said don't. Short Stories for Tired Eyes by Bruno Bole. The History of Quincy T. Booker's Teeth. The Key to the Statues. The Statues are Key. Well, let's go look at these statues. Oh, God. Avian statues hide secrets bound mechanical feathers from metal were pound you know what you should have stuck to be a dentist I'm missing the pirate hat where the fuck is that pirate hat I want to dress up as my new favorite game 
Wires and springs and levers were wound. As levers are pulled, solutions compound. A feather stands up, another falls down. You won't need to peek if you listen to sound. Inside this drawing, a solution is found. Master of buzzards, buzzards drops key to the ground. What drawing? Oh. One, two down, three, four, five down, six. Permanent teeth history. Oh, okay. This one left. Lower right canine. Upper left first by cuspin. Extracted lower left canine. Extracted lower left third molar. What? In a place where bones are buried, so is something, too, that we seek. Start with Charlie Wicker sleeps. Tread lightly on the ground that sinks and seeps. Charlie will give you directions, but count on his, on my shovel to find the way. Oh, God. Okay, I have that shovel. At the cards that keep track of every book. Okay. A great keeper of books, it's true, am I. What? He ha Why did he write so many... Oh, my God. Many a reader through me can spy on wondrous worlds that will never die. You could say it's magic, the librarian's eye. But to get such an eye, you must first take a look at the cards that keep track of every book. The titles, the thing, additions, the hook. That will let you remove the orb from its nook. Reviews by Rachel. I'm glad you like it. The games are so good. Bye, book hag. We love you. Oh, here. Here we go. Filled upper right second molar, extracted upper right central incisor, then upper left central incisor. So this is for those teeth books. Nancy drew picture. Next Nancy drew picture. You have a great weekend, book hag. We'll miss you so much. Hopefully I won't be hoarse on Monday when we play more supermarket simulator. Miss Rachel. Okay, the steps in the right direction. We know that is now up, down, up, up, down, up. Pirates. Anxious out ha haunting west waters. He was Canton Curros. Out here were the sea stricken pirates aplenty. A week's worth of looting left their large stomachs empty. Down to the port will plunder some dinner, but the truth is that these pirates could have been thinner. Their villainous vessel has buck was bogged down by booty they would drop off the treasure and away they'd be scutin they would foul up the village and make a great mess down to the mangroves they'd surely digress oh it's a beastie swim for your lives the calm she's treachery left a surprise sees treachery a long-legged beastie whose eyes were aglow had spotted some treasure in the hold down below and his curious nature could not let it go so he torn down the hull and alarmed were the pirates he started to break down the structures inside it Mangrove. But party has. It's me. Whole Foods. His nautical naughtiness knocked down the ship. The, those petrified pirates were muddled and miffed. So they fired their guns at the Grand Octopus. At one leg, at two legs, at left legs, then six. But the creature countered with two other arms. The northwestern water wailed in, it, in alarm. The pirates abounded this nautical nonsense and swam right to shore with their rather large haunches. But the gaggles of gunmen got left getting gobbled. The creature was angry. It, In its own ink, it bobbled. Sat to, so down up dove the octopus right to his den. He spit out their bones and furnished, fashioned a fence. And each treasure, of course, he had not left behind. He'd befriend all those bubbles in very short time. And long lived this octopus hidden away, but his fate fell quite quickly on one fateful day. Well, now, finish the book. Octopuses have eight legs, famously. On Jernaward of Super, says Sir Dr. Gilbert Buford. The Jolly Roger crew of New Orleans hereby invites Dr. Bruno Sinclair Bollet to join its hallowed ranks and save the man who has championed you and will, sh and will, should you accept this invitation, serve as your sponsor during the invitation process. Interesting. Ha finish the fucking book. Oh. Br 
Bruno, the usual, as usual, a good time was had by all. Your friend and fellow Jolly Roger. That's the Jolly Rogers. Calendar. Shiver Parlor House on Jan 122. Arg Chateau, Iridescent Pearl Major West Bank. That's today. Scuttled Bones, Rampart, and Dumain. I gotta go to Scuttled Bones at Rampart and Dumain. Do this. <gasps> Give me that eyeball. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Well, what just... I was able to hit this at one point. Oh, I see. Oh, it pops out of there. Got it. You made it to Nancy, Emily. Taffy, thank you for the follow. Oh, look at the photo. Yeah, with all the with all the uh, skull guys. And only one's in red. What was my guy in? Blue? Dental tools? Hot. I hate this. Jolie, you nailed that. Lip sync for their lives. Teeth. Do I have to touch teeth somewhere? Well, I don't have a coin. I'm. T Nancy, no. Nancy, don't do that. That's very old. Is there an eyeball in here? Nancy, Jesus. Oh, Nancy, stop. Do it again. How many do I have to do? Is she eating old, old gum? Middle C. Middle C, middle C, middle C, D. E. E. Middle C, middle C, middle C, D, E. E, E, E. D. How dare you? Oh my god. Let's do it again. Thank you for the 10 roses, Queen's Quiff. Middle C, middle C, middle C, D, E, 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 D, C, D, E, C. Okay. Okay. I think I know. Give them a warning. Yeah, you gotta let me know. Oh! <gasps> I love a thinking wall. This must be where I'm supposed to put all the glass eyes I've found. Oh Let's God! See how we're doing. Oh my God! That is a lot of eyes. We are not there yet with the eyes. Have to find a few more of those. I can empathize, Mary. You do not like them. I think this is something else that I'll have to do. This guy... Let's go look at... It was like... Ba Babo... Ba ba oh, shoot. I'm going to make him say it. Oh, here's this cute stuff. You'll be back. Don't say it. Stream will end. Let's go look at it real quick. 
How do I get out of here? Is there a door? Am I in here forever? Oh, I clicked out. I'm not streaming till six. Do I have to use my key? Okay. Oh my god. This is where I live now? Oh, okay. You just do that. Oh, and now I'm in my room. Oh, let's go to her room. Infinite gumballs to keep us healthy. Kayla, it really was. Okay. So we need to make it say... This is the last thing we'll do today. We need to make it say... I don't want a cinematic video. I need to make it say... Oh, I have that. I have that. I need to look in her chest. Show top. I really was showing too much top there. It was... Ba, ba, za, lu, ba, za, lupa. I got it wrong the first time. Ba, za, lupa, ba, za, lupa, d, mu, ka, ba, za, lupa, d, mu, ka. Baza Lupa Dimuka. Baza Lupa Dimuka. Do you think I can go back through my room? Or no? Damn it. Baza Lupa Dimuka. Um, this one? Nice. Let's make the puppet, creepy puppet, say Bazalupa Ba Za Lupa Di Mu Ka. Ba Za Lu Pa Di Mu Ka. Terrifying. The last denizen buried on my guard will start you a hunting through the graveyard. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth, till the treasure they discover. Yeah, we just made that say that. So I... Is this what I input here? Or is it a name? Northwest, southeast, northeast, northeast, south. That can't be right. What was his name? Charlie Wicker. That doesn't make sense. Well, what are you good? What are you supposed to write? Well, what if I just type W? This name doesn't fit the clue. This is such a fun puzzle. Oh, right. I have access to their graves. Okay, at least he's done now. Do you all want to go to the graves and do that puzzle real quick? It's only 2.55. We have five more minutes. Y'all want to go to the grave? Well, oh, let me out. More puzzles, more puzzles. I want to see the grave. Well, let's go to the graveyard. I have the key. Can we call the fun puzzles puzzles? Yeah, because there are definitely fun puzzles. And then there are those other puzzles that we won't mention. Oh, let's do this. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so I need the first one down. I mean, up. No, that's not right. Oh, 
Okay, terrible. Why did that change? Didn't I just hit that one? No, I need... No, I, I did want that down. Okay. No. I think I did it. Damn it. So this... Okay, so that's still down, but I need to get the last one up. Nope, that put that one down. What is happening? I'm making... No! Oh no! I think this is wrong. Shoot. So there's... How does it work? It's putting different feathers up and down. Yeah. You feel like what? I'm sorry, you feel like what? What was it you... What was it you felt like? In shambles. Kempenko seen running away, screaming, crying, holding his face. I feel like I fucking crushed it. Impeccable timing. Oh, wait, that's not where I want to be. I want to be up here, I think. And I have. Was there somebody moving in that window? Could door rattle again, please? Okay. Last one I buried. 1990. 1990. 1981. 1890. Well, of these two, who... Marianne Bolet. She was younger. So let's say it's Marianne Bolet. Wait, do I not have that paper anymore? Oh, it's right here. This name doesn't fit the clue. It does, though, if you just look. All right, let's try Cloud Bole. That doesn't make sense. I feel like you're wrong, Nancy Drew. In the cemetery? I can't go anywhere in the cemetery. Isn't that just where What's-His-Butt's grave is? I'm not going out there. Oh my god, 23J Cat, you're so right. There's also all these mushrooms everywhere that I'm obviously going to have to do something with. There's this. Sixty-nine, nice. Does it just go in numerical order? It really is. It's really going in numerical order. We're okay. Tammy Tesselman. 
Tammy Tesselman. That looks like the right name. In Terra Siesta, one, two, two, five. Can I borrow that shovel? Can I pet that dog? This shovel with a weird handle. Do you think I could borrow it? Dr. Bolay took great interest in that shovel. Don't know why. Never used it. Just like to see it hanging there. Me, I use it to dig up roots. I could dig you up some roots. I got right some now, roots. I, mushrooms. I was hoping to get them picked. Oh tonight, my god, not the chores. I still have to do. Not the chores. You. Wow, what a generous offer. All right then. I need five painted conks. I know They're what they mushrooms are. that have got a short, fat stem and a large Hot. bell shaped cap covered with big red dots. You might find one or two here in the garden, but you'll have better luck in the boggy part of the cemetery. You get me five, no more, no less, and I'll let you borrow. Oh my God, shot. Emily! If that's true, I will quit. Deal. You can put them in this bag. All right, I'm saving. <laughs>